I'ma taste you cause you look tasty Don't keep me waiting on Oh, stop playing Oh, stop playing When you walk through time, stop And me, you keep on and Oh, stop playing Oh, stop playing Girl, you always playing with it Always talking about it so all right, what's good, y'all? What's good, everybody? We we up in here. We had some major technical difficulties, but we in the building. I'm Rob D. We're gonna go. We're gonna go around. We're gonna go around and introduce everybody. Let me. Let me. We had major craziness. I just want to shout out Frontier for um for uh, all that <laughs> for all that bullshit tonight. We even got a Frontier employee here. I'm gonna be on the phone right, with their ass right. tomorrow. <laughs> it's on and popping. It's on and popping tomorrow, Frontier. What you have that? fucked us over. All right, we're gonna go around the room and introduce everybody. First, we're gonna go hit my man over here to my to my right. He's known as he was here last week. He tore it down and, and they wanted him back. Y'all put your hands together for my man, the great, the 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 one, the only Majesty in the building. Yo. Majesty's in the building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now off oh, next to them, we got two young ladies in the building. They they're gonna sit together tonight. Put it up, put it together for Miss Kiki D and Miss What Happened. What happened? Miss hey, Bella hey, is in the in, in the building. Hey, hey, hey. Who does this Queen City all day? Hey, hey, hey. No practice involved. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know this young lady, a host of the Raw Report, give it up for Miss Coco in the building. Yeah. And last oh, but not least. We have a couple tonight, a married couple, put it together for the Elliots is in the building, y'all. 13, Elli 13, 13 years strong, baby. 13 years strong. So, uh, and, and as you everybody. can see tonight, I put the phone number up there so, you know, you can call in, you know, uh, we're going to get it popping. Um, who, do, who, do who do I start with? Majesty. Hey, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna start with you first. Hey, we 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 uh we where we, we, we at tonight? Where we at tonight? Well, guys, today, put that talking to your mic. Talking to your mic. They're definitely not gonna like us tonight, guys. Hey, <laughs> We're gonna touch some issues tonight, guys. We're gonna talk about some things that need to definitely. be talked about Heck, concerning these Heck, kids. Yeah. We are not raising these children right. Mm -hmm. We are not doing our jobs. We are not using the village. Mm -hmm. So we're going to touch some feelings tonight, some emotions. I feel like there is no village. No, no, no. no, no yeah. see, but, I you know, agree. that's the problem. You know, people. But we're going to get into that. I don't just, I want you to go around the room and do what you got to do. But we're going to talk about kids tonight, man. We're, we, we're not doing the right thing. We're letting uh, technology Make raise our children. And that's first and foremost. <laughs> the music is raising our children. <laughs> and the technology <laughs> is raising our children. And that's the problem. I'm you know here. what I mean? So I I'm just going to touch on that tonight, and it's going to piss a lot of people off. I might lose customers. I might lose. Now nah, you don't. You don't want. You don't want to lose. <laughs> yo, you don't want to lose no customers. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen because I'm gonna be talking to somebody. They gonna you feel I'm talking directly customers. to them. Like yo, this nigga talking. He telling my business. <laughs> yeah. Word up. Not the case. Word That's up. What happens up. when you tell the truth. So Word up. We gonna touch on some things tonight that we didn't touch on last week. Now so let's hit. Happen. Let's hit the. Let's hit the couple over here. However, let's start off with the marriage. Um, because this is marriage talk part two. Yes, that's why. So let's start off with that. We do have a married couple up here. A lot of people were saying um, that that's we should have got a married woman up here. Because we did have a married guy up here. And you were giving your perspective. But they wanted mm -hmm. a female, a married woman's perspective. Mm -hmm. So based on what happened. Did you watch the show last week? Yeah, I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what were your thoughts regarding some of the stuff that Madge have stated? Well, um... I think a lot of what he was saying was real, and unfortunately, that's that's what that yeah, people people don't want to hear that. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. So you know, it, it, until a lot of women like put, give ourselves higher standards, we're never gonna find that higher standard of man either. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, and and the, it's a hundred percent true that all the women are given these men. Um, um, husband duties and they're only boyfriends. Right. So what's the whole purpose of marrying you and putting a ring on your finger, giving you their last name, if they already yeah. got everything? You, just, there's nothing that there's nothing to hide. There's nothing to show. There's mm -hmm. that. You, you, boom! You got it all. Right. So at the same time, there's a lot of females that was um, brought up in confusion. 
Mm. You understand? So they don't know their placement as like, yeah. being a real woman, growing into a real Hi. woman until they find themselves. I'm not saying that you're wrong for your opinion because you're absolutely right. I do agree with you yeah. at a certain extent. You understand what I'm saying? Because some women, they've been like, a lot of people, you got to get it. A lot of people bash, especially black women. Mm -hmm. A lot of people bash us, they downgrade us. Absolutely. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of us that have been turmoil. It's a lot of us that have been raped. It's a lot of us that have been through a lot of stuff. You understand? That's why we so afraid. Is it? Is it a great thing to be submissive as a woman to our king? Most definitely. At the same time, how can you be submissive to your king when you don't even know how to love yourself? Mm -hmm. So let's not downgrade the black woman or a woman, period. To make the man feel superior, even though he is superior, but can we get some love from our men too? Yeah. Um, can I interject? You yeah. can interject. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna give it to you uh, from a men's perspective. When it comes to that situation, and I look at it, and I was always taught to look within myself for the answers. Mm -hmm. Now, us men, you know, and like Mad said, we talking about kids. If um, what's up, Aunt? My nephew, Aunt. If if we doing our jobs as men, we have to give like I got five daughters mm -hmm. and, you know, my youngest is about to be eight years old. My oldest there is 24. 50, 50. So um, we as men have to give our our daughters, you know, we, they watch us. Mm -hmm. They look at us and no matter how you want to look at it or how you want to take it, your daughter's going to be with somebody that's just like right. you, Most definitely. you understand what I'm saying? So that it starts from there. Sure. Now, if you now when you dealing with your wife or whoever you dealing with, your significant other, whatever woman you dealing with, and you treating that woman, you know, other than respectful, then your daughter is gonna think it's okay for a man to talk to her that way. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if if you're the man of the household, you got to carry yourself in that perspective. Mm -hmm. And if you're the queen of the household, as you say, so you got to carry yourself in that perspective as well. Mm -hmm. Because at a certain age, you're always going to have daddy's little girls. But at a certain, there's things that us men can't teach our daughters. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to look too mommy. Hold on one second. Elizabeth, get off of the phone right now. Anthony, get my daughter off of this video. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What just had? Hold up! What? Yo! <laughs> it just happened. It just happened. Her daughter, her daughter it just watching happened. the her daughter yeah, watching the Our nine year old. Oh, she can't watch it. No, no, no. This is this is not for nine to ten year old. This is for twenty and older. Yo! Yeah, this is not for nine to ten year old. What happened? Twenty and older. Yeah, I thought somebody was like, yo. I thought you was flipping on somebody in the comment. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay. Um, ratchet and ratchet. She definitely can. Yo. <laughs> to continue to. <laughs> that was funny. To continue to expound on that, somebody just put up here, what if you don't have a daddy? I'm pretty sure, you know, you got uncles, um, older cousins, older uncles, grandfathers, well, and, and, and those perspectives. Yeah, yeah. Let me. It takes a village. Let me just interject real you quick, man. Village, because this is about to turn into a, a oh, tennis hey, match. This is gonna go back and forth because, like I said, everybody's not raised the oh, same way. Mom. You know what I mean? Everybody, household and family dynamics are not set up right, right. the same way. So. You know, everybody wasn't blessed enough to have a father in their life. Me, me, me as well. Like, I, I fall in that either. category. So, you know, a lot of us didn't have, you know, because a lot of families were destroyed back in the day by drugs and, and, you know, for whatever reasons, jail. Right. So my whole thing is everybody have the power of choice. We all know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. God gave us that. To. That's something can't nobody take from us. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. Unless you're drugged up with some shit, you just don't know what the fuck going on. But other mm -hmm. than that, we all have the power of choice. So you have the choice to watch a positive role model that's maybe not immediately related to you, but that's incorporated in your life somewhere exactly. someday and use that as a measurement of foundation. I don't care if you got a, a homegirl, she got a father. Mm -hmm. you, you watch that and she, he would be more than happy to take you in and go. Yo, you know what? But you gotta I, I, be careful with that too. No, I understand. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because when you was using, saying, you know, as far as your uncle or you know, you got other mm -hmm. role models, mm -hmm. you, you know, it's a lot of molestation going on in right. families these days. Right. You could days. be a good role so model. People, but you could be a pedophile. People don't trust their kids with anybody. That's about. We in a right, different right, time right, right, right. now. Right. Yeah. 
We in a different time right now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But so Natalia said, um, yeah, nowadays you can't discipline nobody kids. And that is true. She's so absolutely you know, that's what I was referring to when I said nowadays there is an village because everybody be so quick to no, this and, is my kid. You don't exactly. you know what? Like exactly. you know what? And I feel like that's the reason why kids nowadays are disrespectful. That's the problem. Respect mm -hmm. their elders. Hands down, that's the issue. No but you gotta think about it though. Listen to the people that say that. It's a certain age bracket. That feel that you cannot correct their children. Most definitely. Right. I don't agree. Right. I no, don't agree. I totally agree. I don't agree. Only I don't because agree. I know I know women that's older than me that's like that. You can't say yeah. nothing to their Wait, kids. Wait, older than you by how much? Like what? Like what, you, like what like age? 10 years. Well, I'm no, 27. No. So I know like for instance, my kids old my kids older cousin, she's like 37. And she's like that with her kids. You can't tell yeah. her kids anything. No, like, I'm like, 40, if my 100. child is wrong and I'm not around, you correct my child. And my child, my kids know you don't disrespect your elders. If somebody I don't, tell I don't you even something, believe there is an age racket. She's when not. She's, I believe that she's the 37, mentality. but she's 27. She's not cut from the same cloth. That's what I'm saying. I don't she didn't come from the manufactured the cloth. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, exactly. Because if you're 35 or older, mm -hmm. you got the shit beat out of you. Uh -huh. You I come from shit. that cloth. I got the shit beat out of me. If you didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't wish death on your parents back in the day, <laughs> you, don't know what love is. Right. you don't know what love is. You don't know what love is. I'm gonna repeat this because I, I want people to I understand. I, was, I know I was that little white kid in the in the in the corner, like I'm gonna kill everybody in this fucking house. <laughs> Yo, because well, not only did I get in trouble by my mother, I got in trouble if. Some of the neighborhoods saw me because I grew up in you know the little projects or See, whatever. That's so the if village. somebody in 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 neighborhood saw me do something, they got in trouble. As soon as my mom got home from work, I got in trouble. Yo, it, wasn't, it wasn't. That's the, how it's supposed to be. And as soon as they the told my mom you, something, she immediately whipped my ass and then asked questions about what happened. Right. Because but now it's like, how dare you come right. to me right. and talk to me about and my mother's child? And, you know, and then you gotta so, end up. Excuse my language. And then right. you gotta end up talking like almost fighting the parents right. yes. like you get your child right. I just you saw a video right. on Facebook that's going around a little boy went up to an older lady the a grandmother, grandmother right, and kicked her, oh, kicked her. Right. and she and dragged was cussing him. at her so she went he went to kick her again mm -hmm. the grandmother took the child and threw the child on the ground and the, the mother, mother came up to the grandmother and was like I'm gonna F you up how dare you like hit my child you gonna hit yeah. my child you gonna and hit my child that's where you child? get it from cause yeah. everything's you should hit your child you should have beat your child right. but you but you understand. know what? Even even if you don't physically beat your child, all children need discipline. All kids. They need all beaters. need discipline. Okay? If they don't have no discipline, that's why they wind up in jail or they wind up dead. No, because nobody could say nothing to your child. You know what I'm saying? We all supposed to be as one and say, listen, if I if somebody see one listen, I got a 2019 and a 10 year old. My 10 year old, she don't go outside unless I when I move, she move. Mm -hmm. But my 20 and my 19 year old, they move on their own level. But better believe everybody know me in my neighborhood. So if they see one of my children doing something out of place that they know that they're not supposed to do, yeah, you better check my child. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to check your kid. Right. And it's going to be respectfully. It's going to be accordingly. It's going to be one accord. I'm not going to just yoke your child up and try to drag them and hurt them or anything right. like that. I'm going to give them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding so they can understand. Now you know hey, you don't supposed to act like this. But yep. when, when, when we live in a society where yeah, people yeah. are letting social media or their mm -hmm. phones raise their children, you then you're not going to, they're, they're not going to check their child because basically it's just like, give them the phone and shut them up. You know what I'm That's saying? I hate so those kind of people. It's no not, books. it's not, 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 it's it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's iPhones or or iPads or nothing like that, and he's the one that created them. Right. So what is that telling us as parents? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yo, listen. Yeah, but it starts at home, and you know, I want to give you something. One, the one of the phone. things we I, do as right. parents when our children no get in trouble, right. their punishment is education. Sit down and read. Do these math problems. Read this book. Write right. a book report. No, my those books are, are ass whoopers. I'm just are, saying. Those are. <laughs> but my kids don't, don't. My kids are are raised to the aspect where they don't get in trouble enough to get an ass whooping. Not yet. Wait, so they become not not yet. They ain't right. teenagers yet. But what I'm saying is, we have our situation basically under control. The worst thing they do. If I raise my voice at my kids, they cry. Can I ask you, you a understand question? What I'm how saying? old are your children? I got a 24-year-old, a 23-year-old, a 19-year-old, and a 9-year-old, and one about to be 8. Bless yo, I have what, two left. Yo, kudos to you, man. You left in the house. You look every bit of 27. Give him a look. Give him a look. Yo, yo.
Yo, Rob, he, 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 he looked like he's 27. Hold on, hold on. We got to give him. Can we also give him a bomb for. We got to give him a bomb for all that slinging he's been doing. He's been doing a lot of slinging. <laughs> Hit him off. He's been slinging. He has been slinging. Oh, and if you ain't know, I'm 43 years old. So. Okay, okay, no doubt. No doubt. Hold on, let's, let's let's get this phone right quick. Let's get this phone. See what we got. First caller for the night. What's good? It's the Raw Report. Talk to us. Hey, I think this is an awesome topic about the children. Okay. Um, I feel, I feel basically what he said was right. It's a different era. If you were raised in a different era, you were raised with morals and values or whatever. However, if you think about it, most of the kids these days, parents aren't but, what, maybe 15, 16 years right. older than them. Right. So That's if the parent is young, how can you expect That's true. for you to teach your child morals and values when you don't have none your damn self? Come on so, now. It. So what do we do? How do we and correct it? At the it? end of the day, as a mother myself of two children, on, 23 and freaking 15, Come on, I don't give my kids the freaking freedom. Come on, queen. That the shit. parents are giving these kids. Yep. Come on, Queen. That's right. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like raise your child. At the end of the day, if you know your child, you know what your child is capable exactly. of. Exactly. You can't sit there and tell me if I go to school tomorrow and the teacher tell me, Oh, your child was cussing at me this day and the third. I gotta sit back and think about it. Well, hell, do he do that at home? Mm -hmm. Right. He was right. capable of that. I'm going to have to take, tear his ass up when I get home. Come on now. So <laughs> when he get home, I'm going to tear his ass up, up, up in the school so all his friends see it. Uh, 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 yeah, it's, not it's in these problem. schools you want to be. No, that's it's, not it's like what Matt said. It's just like what Matt said. That's the problem. How do we fix it? Hold on, hold on. It's legal to hit your kids. Let's get this clear. Just not to leave rules. You can't leave marks. So ain't nobody could tell me that I can't hit my child. Right. So I'm tired chest of these kids no, and chest thinking that, using that, that, a threat. That's that oh, I'm going to call the cops on you if you hit well, me. Or I'm going to call DCF on you. Call whoever you, call you, have to go call you want you to call That's on me. That's the thing. At the end of the day, these kids are not going to respect you when you entertain and they bullshit. There you go. Like, exactly. this shit, boy, if you discipline your children like you're supposed to Come and don't now. give a damn about the law, you can call the Apple Vet police on me. Because at the end of the day, it's just going to be a vacation. So Come on, Queen. Shit. Yo, she's absolutely it is right. right. I feel like you speak to myself. I, I think I need to sit back and recollect my damn self. No, but you don't. Know, you you on the right track. And, and to it add to it, it you right, Queen, you on the right track. Anything. And to answer what she was saying, she's saying, like, if you young and you got a kid young, how do you deal with that situation? Well, if you a grandparent, I'm telling you right now, when my grandmother was alive, you get your ass out of hand, you're going to get slapped by. Three different generations. But so, like you understand she, what like I'm saying? saying so not if, up if, that way. I understand that. But if you, it's like me, right? We gotta get back. If I'm at, but when people come to our office with their children and their children start acting a fool, you know what I tell them? I don't know these people from nowhere. Uh, you know what I tell them? If you don't get your kid, mm -hmm. I'm going to get them. Come on now. You understand what I'm saying? So we as men, especially us men. got to take yeah. charge. You we got to take charge, man. I'm it don't matter. No child dictate to me. Or to no other <laughs> adult. You got what? to be kidding You're me. not doing that in front of me. You're not. So not us, us men who was raised in the era where you got your ass whooped and you had to respect these kids don't people know they play. and your they elders, don't know their children. you supposed to take that with you. We're supposed to pass that on. That's how we children. make our generation better. So when somebody kid jumping out of place, hey, man, straighten your else. ass up. You understand what I'm saying? Especially as men because you have a lot of women who are single parents. Oh, I didn't even know she was What'd you say, Queen? What'd you say, Queen? What'd she say? You was talking. What'd you say? I, I said the sad part is this is supposed to be our future, but the generation right now is so sad. It's ridiculous. You can't go upon everything. Your child come back and say to you, oh, my, the um, teacher said this to me or the teacher said that to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what did you do? Because I look at it like this. There's a right and there's a wrong. And come in between now. the middle, there's the truth. Come on now. So as a parent, I'm going to have to investigate. At the end of the day, I always tell my kids, don't get to the school and act disrespectful because if you come out your mouth sideways, I'm just, just put your head back because I'm going for your soap. That's, come where, on now. From. That's where I'm going. That is not your fight. You are mm -hmm. a child. You are to remain in a child's place. Come on now. That's my fight. That is a, an adult. You are not disrespecting an adult in front of me. Not at all. Most I, days, never, what up, baby? And I agree with you. I will yank you out your soul. Don't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for calling, sis. Thank you. you know what I, I read a thank comment. you. All right. Idina Love said, not true. 
I'm a young mom. I'm 26 with a 7, 4, and 3-year-old. I believe in ass whippings. My mom is still respect and taught me there is their, there is their story. There is their story, child's in the truth. And yes, the open hand is legal. Yes. So oh, yeah. I agree with that because granted, I'm twenty seven. Right. I have a I have a nine year old, I have an eight year old. My kids are not disrespectful. Right. To That's be like completely mine. honest, I've already noticed me compared to to my peers, I watch how they parent and I watch how I parent and I parent very different. Mm-hmm. And I do think it's because of the fact that my father my everything I do to my kids I got from my dad. But my dad is older, like way older. So I think a lot of the kids that's my age, their their parents are younger than my than my parents. Right. So granted, it is a generation thing, but it's what they learn from their parents. Right. See that. And, and I don't believe in. That, I don't believe that listen, parents are like I've I've noticed nowadays right. a lot of parents are they try to be they they their Good kids friend. friend. There you go. Mm-hmm. You can't mm-hmm. be your kids friend. I tell my kids all the time, I'm not your friend, I'm your mother. I'm Come your mother on, first. Yeah. That's right. So, it, I, I, I don't think it's a, I don't necessarily think it's like a, a age oh, an thing. age thing. I just it's think it's how, it how you was brought up. Now, on, on, that note, yeah. on, on that note, what you're saying, you're 100% right. I just want to elaborate on that a little bit more. Uh, you know, there's no such thing as a certain. You you have to have a certain knowledge by the time you get to a certain age. Right. Don't come to you got a though. lot of younger. Uh, parents that have older souls, mm-hmm. such Absolutely. as yourself, uh-huh. a true. lot of other young ladies that's 27, maybe 28, mm-hmm. they have older souls. Mm-hmm. But to touch on something, I want to touch on something real quick. You, you ever, you ever heard somebody sit around? They say, "Damn, I'm starting to sound just like my mom, you know? I'm starting uh-huh. to sound just like my pop." <laughs> that, that's a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like you yeah. said, depending on what was instilled in you as a youth, mm-hmm. how you were raised is how you're going to raise your children. Right. So just because. Your parents did certain things. That don't mean it was the right way. That's true. But as you get older, you can look back and go, damn. Yo, my parents was dead wrong for that shit right there. Because now, you know, my mother said one thing to me that was key in my life, man. My mother said, you know what, boy? Just wait till you grow up, boy, and you get your own. Uh I'd be like, damn, my what? My own what? She'd be like... Your black ass finished the sentence. (laughs) Your own anything in life. Your Uh own kids, your own marriage, your own house, your own bills, your Mm -hmm. own car, your own... Every situation in life. And I don't understand what she's saying. See, how you were raised is what you will instill in your kids. Whether it was bad in some places, whether Uh it was good in some places. But you got to understand, we're dealing with a lot of parents that... That were raised that didn't get nothing. Right. Right. They didn't get nothing. So it's only with so much I can blame them because their parents was was out doing what they was doing right. and they wasn't raising their kids. Yeah. Like the kids I said, raising the kids. so the, you had other kids raising their kids. And you know, you know what, what I'm saying? That's how I know how to be a mother. I'm not sitting here. I'm not trying to sit no. here and justify nor condone why you got some ratchet ass parents out there that let their kids do right, whatever right. the fuck they want to do. Mm-hmm. But the fact of the matter is. It's out there. So right. what are we going to do to correct it? We can play ping pong with this shit all day. Mm-hmm. Right. But what but are the answers? So the now, solution? my first solution is... I would tell... Can I Can I cut in real quick? Parents, stop telling your kids um, you don't have to respect anybody unless they give you respect. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Stop telling your kids that because that's why they don't ex- respect adults because they expect adults to respect them. <laughs> we don't have to respect you. We're the adults. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and... Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. There's not a wait a minute. I don't care what my elder used to tell me. Even to this day, if an elder says something to me, if they straight disrespected me, I'm not going to disrespect them. I don't care. I'm not going to go there. Because I was raised to respect my elders, period. No matter what they said, no matter what I didn't like, I was raised... To respect my elders. Yeah, that's and gone. We took that that's out. gone. That's, that's out the window saying. right now. Yeah, we took that unless out. you're cut from that and, generation. And, and, and for anyone to right. sit here that's, and say that a kid has to respect person, I mean, uh, doesn't have to respect anybody to respect them, that's bullshit. I don't know half of you people in this room, and I'm older than some of y'all, and some of y'all older than me, but I'm showing respect, and we respect each I other. I think I might be the oldest in here. <laughs> I think, am I the oldest in here? You understand? No, 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 no. At the same time, but I you understand what I'm saying? Everybody so, deserves we respect. Lie. We don't talk about that in the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. Everybody, 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 everybody deserves respect. Everybody deserves respect, but a 13 year old doesn't deserve my respect. I don't have to give you respect. I, I'm, I'm here as a teacher, just like just like the sister said. You don't 
I'm your mother. I'm not your friend. Right. So exactly. I'm the village. I'm, 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 I'm not gonna disrespect. I'm not gonna constantly disrespect my. No, but that's though. how we that's, that's, that's how low right. self That's how they get low self esteem and they feel like right. they can't speak for themselves. And that's how a lot of kids get. You know, nowadays this, the suicidal rate is crazy. Exactly. So, yeah, I tell my kids, I'm not your friend, I'm your mother first. However, I definitely respect them. But there's a, dif- well, I, there's a difference the between time, there's a difference between res- respecting your kid and them expecting respect. Like I respect you enough. I respect my kids. They eight and nine years old. I respect them enough to allow them to say what they want to say. But watch but how you say. It. Right. You it's understand limit. what I'm exactly. saying? Okay, I get what you're saying. So it's there's the res- okay. yeah, I, of course. Say, it's but it's you not right. you're it's not just gonna be talking to me like I'm anybody. I right. talk to my kids. Like they're young adults, and we don't hide anything from them, and they're very intelligent. And sometimes you, know you can't saying? tell your kids every, but every, they every know day how far. Why not? They they why not? Go. On the TV. Listen, it's on the kids. TV. Listen, you can it's teach your children. Internet. Listen, babes. You queen. Listen, you could teach your children from fiction to nonfiction to home. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You could teach them all three different ways. Just because they watch these rappers and stuff like that get crazy and all that, that does not mean your children will come out that way if you're teaching them the right way. You know why? I'm a living I testimony. Agree. I agree. Now, listen, you? hold on, hold on, queen. Hold on, queen. Hold on. My son, 19, he never been arrested. He never been in jail. Most high blessed. He never got caught up in the street. Most high blessed. My son is a 19-year-old electrician. Graduated from high school. My daughter, 20 years old, wow. she graduated from high school. My daughter in college for law. You understand what I'm saying? So it's something at home that I did great. Don't let the streets raise your children. You raised right. them. Yeah, Don't have your children true. being I followers. Or teach your children that. how to be leaders. That's it. Yeah. Everybody worrying about the industry stuff. Okay, it's going to be this, this crap. And the shit that... I'm sorry. Huh? I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry. But it's a lot of bullshit the industry teaches these kids. Guess oh, what? Half of them mother suckers Work, don't even live their life. Um, they can don't I interject? Live. No, uh, hold on. Hold on, babe. I just want to say one thing. I want <laughs> right, to, just to go, like, because the show was about marriage. That was was about okay, this will, okay yeah. so, we, we're going to swing that way in a minute. Yeah. No, <laughs> we, but it, it's about to go into that because okay. that's one thing that we do with our daughters. I'm raising my daughters to be wives. Come on Okay? Now. So exactly. my seven and nine-year-old, I talk to them about being a wife. Right. I talk to them about cooking, doing, you know, everything that I teach them. I'm teaching them to be a good, submissive wife when As they get should, older baby. because Come that's what now. they sh- that, that's what they are here for. Come on now. We are here to be raising wives and husbands, and people forget that. They forget exactly. why we have kids. We're here to raise kids to worship God, period. That's the whole, that's the whole purpose of life. Everything else is extra. It could be good. It could be bad. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's what the purpose is. So I have to start from ground up. Like, okay, you're going to cook. This is how, after you cook, you feed your husband first. Uh, yes, I'm one of those women. I feed my husband first. Before because you feed now, is that, is that because yes, of... absolutely. Is that no, what my, the religion says? That's not, no, no, that's not what the religion said. I was my raised in an Italian first. house. You and in an Italian first. house... My husband your kids brings the food in the husband. house. He gets the food first. No He's doubt. the man of the house. I respect that. He's the man Madge, of the house. Madge, you got to look on your you face. Know, because I you know that. why? You know I respect why? that. I just want to say this. Queen, how about? What this is? I just want to <laughs> say this, man. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm trying to respect the They don't the like tonight. that. We, that I'm word trying to submissive. Uh-oh, they don't like the word submissive? No. Ah. What up, Aunt Like? Rob, I'm trying to be respectful of the situation and hear everybody's opinions and vent tonight. But... You know, I, the, the first thing we're going to hear about her over there is that they're going to say, yo, that's why my man married her. Yo, she white. That's why he getting all that shit. Because a black sister ain't my trying to hear nothing. Because I'm a very Ooh, that's, 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 I never thought of that. Oh, I never thought of that. I tell you, this is where it's going to get ugly. Don't do that. This is where it's going to get ugly. Yeah, but my, she does it for me. Don't do that. That's right. She a sister. Don't do that. And I got the power to prove Wait a minute. This goes back. Don't do that. I just want to finish. Right. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, finish it because I'm That's still not already. true. Hey, man, there's a lot of people saying you should be submissive to your husband. Go ahead. Listen to me, man. I'm here to tell the truth, man. No, you tell the false truth. I'm not here. Wait, 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 wait. He's telling his truth. He can tell his truth. I'm not here. All right, calm down. This is merely, this is my opinion. I have this, man. I, I see you got to the douce before you got here. No, I, I, I get to the douce. So, so, 
This stems back to how you were brought up. Exactly. If you have a woman, first and foremost, who didn't have a father around to see this example of a woman who's who's feeding the, the husband first, who's catering to the husband, everything she's saying that we were taught, that's taught in Islam, mm -hmm. that's yeah. taught, you know, when you put God or Allah first and foremost, how many people do that these days? So Not that's many. a missing trait right there. Yeah. So as soon as you say the word submissive to oh a lot God, of sisters, oh, <laughs> to a lot of sisters, they looking at you. They looking at you like they're ready to punch you in your face. Nah, yeah. So dope. if your yoke is dope, ain't, dope. listen to me, man. If you didn't have a father right with a mother to show you how that, to treat you this man, you yep. do not know how to hand that but down. But you still exactly. got an aunt and an uncle. Okay, you yo, still got an aunt and an uncle. Yo, first of all, because I was all, raised with my aunt and my uncle. Listen, and my aunt was very hold on, hold on, brother. I know I'm not gonna hold on. You're not letting me finish. You no. intervene every time somebody speaks. You can have it for a half hour. Hey, all I'm Keisha. saying is, uh, we had a generation. Everybody don't have no aunts and uncles. They don't trust their aunts and their uncles. Their aunts and uncles are molesters. Absolutely. Nobody want to send their kids to their aunts and Stay uncles it. no more. Yeah. Them days are a wrap. That's I'm true. sorry. That's yeah. All right, but what I'm saying is. From a village perspective, all right, you need to let a little man hang around boys, hang yeah, around exactly. men. Right. Because what happens is, we're raising a lot of funny style little niggas. Yeah. And I'm going to say this again. Y'all single women out there is raising a lot of little funny style niggas. Yeah. That's coming into my barber shop. That's acting a whole lot more feminine mm. than the yeah. women are. Yeah. And I'm going to say this because we got masculinity that's missing in these households. Yeah. So when I go back to, to, to saying about letting the village raise them, you don't have to let them go spend a night with their uncle and go stay over his house for a week. Right. But you're supposed to let you, hold your brother accountable like, yo, your little nephew over here dying to spend time with you. Exactly. Huh? Right. He begging and crying out for his uncle. Right. You know his daddy ain't around. Right. Come pick your nephew up and yeah. go play ball with him. Yeah. Come right. play. Cause I'm seeing a lot of little funny ass little niggas. Yeah. And mamas think Bro. that shit is cute. So yeah. Madison, can I Hold on, like you, can I grab this call right quick? Grab yeah. Please yeah. grab the call. Caller, call talk call to us. us. Come on, man. We're gonna talk tonight. Hello? So, so Majesty, they hung up. But let me ask you a question real quick, because I agree with 100% what you're saying. But now that we was talking about accountability, um, just just for you personally, what are you doing about it? Like, what are you doing to help this situation? Do you see sisters, single sisters with sons, and you're like, hey, can I take your son out? Oh, that's the question that I put the camera. Is the camera back on me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the, camera, the camera's back on you. Is the camera back on me. He is so okay. That's the... Yo, that was the statement of the night. Because not only am I using my platform at the barbershop to correct sure a lot of this bullshit sure that's going on, I'm a it's foulness. I, everybody tell you, you come in my shop, I got jurisdiction. Yeah. You're not going to come up in my shit where you running over your mother, you coming up in here, you acting all foul, and you thinking you could just get away with this shit because you was getting away with it in the street. When you walk up into my door, it's a time warp. We had an error of correction in there. That's the village in that barbershop. Mm. Ain't no little nigga coming in there thinking he tougher than us. Mm. Thinking exactly. you're going to run over your mother and disrespect her in front of us. Ask how many mamas call me and give me the 411 before they even get there. So and I, I say, yo, I ain't going to punch him or hurt him or nothing. But I need to be able to put my hands on him yeah, to scare this little nigga straight. Because yeah. when a nigga question. think you can't touch him, they going to just they look at you like, yeah, what you want. Yeah. So I, I done grabbed up plenty of these little, grab them, bring them in a the bathroom, drape them up by their shirt. Because a lot of them... Just never had that man, man. put yeah. that testosterone yeah. on him. I ain't got to hit him or nothing, uh -huh. but just grab him and be like, yo, who you talking to, man? You better exactly. listen to your mother. Throw mother. Who you think you talking to? Can I ask to? you a question? Exactly. So we need and then she door. called me. So can, I, can I jump in here real quick? Interject. Interject. Yeah, let, let, let me interject right quick. So I, I, I love what you're doing as far as checking the children, all right? I but check the parents too. Listen, my thing is this. The fathers that come into your barbershop, because a lot of those kids that you check in are mm. their fathers that hears that you're cutting. Talk about right? it. Right? So why you cutting hears and you don't have to check their kids, are you yep. still sending the message to those dads yep. that, listen, your son came in here <laughs> yesterday, yep. and I had to check him because yep. he was disrespecting his mother. I can tell you are that mother, type that will. And, Man, you know, are you checking do. the fathers? Can, I, can I tell you something? I want to say this real no, quick. No, because what, wait, no, I'm about to ask you a question.
listen. Finish. No, you can't finish because I know where you're going. Oh, I know where you're going with this. No, no, I don't check the fathers because what? I have a generation, and my barbershop has a generation of all fathers who come with their children. Uh -huh. We don't have that, yo, your dad just walked out. Yo, that's your son. Nah, we don't play that in there. Okay. There's a connection in my barbershop. It's okay. family. It ain't none of those. I don't know what you're used to or where you go with it. Yo, your, fa your father just walked out, man. Both of y'all, yo, go chase your dad down. Nah. nah. And I can honestly say that. I'm using my platform. I want to send shout out to all the young brothers that are coming in my shop that's bringing their kids from birth. We got brothers that's making a correction. We're not just talking about it. We got brothers that's coming in with all their kids, man. Right. They bringing their sons in there. Every time they get a haircut, the sons get one. Mm -hmm. Or they bringing the kids, the kids yeah. get one without them. So that, that, we make sure that that's not going to happen where we at, man. So we don't. Majesty. Now, I'm we breaking it? that. Let me speak, please. We breaking that speak. stigma. Y'all going back and forth like Venus and Sabrina. I want to jump in <laughs> like the ball boy. <laughs> well, this is what I was saying because I wanted to give y'all an Islamic perspective. You okay, what I'm saying that's what we're here for. In the marriage, right? And if you have a son, since we're talking about marriage and children, if you have a son, the son is going to get nurtured and loved and cared for by the mother until he reaches a certain age. Even though the father is in the home, he could be little mama's boy until a certain age. When he hits the age of understanding and puberty and all of that stuff. The father steps in. In Islam, the men are with the men and the women are with the women. Bottom line. Bottom line. Yeah. And That's how in to Islam, it divorce. teaches you that if there's a divorce or a woman husband dies, you should run to her and run to the masjid and marry that sister so now. you can continue to protect the youth. And this is what's going on. A lot of brothers is not taking care of their responsibilities. And then you got dudes out in these Hold streets. Hold on, caller. Okay, there, uh, and you got dudes out in these streets who ain't doing that and they ain't stepping up. It's just like I told Madge, and we were talking about it earlier. The men got to step up. Gotta step you, up. The, why do you think they got shows like Maury and Jerry Springer? They because the men up. are missing. You understand what I'm up. saying? If you see something going on in your neighborhood, be if you want to, if you so called a man, be man enough to go out there and say, "Yo, young blood, that's not cool." You understand what I'm saying? Put them in their place because a lot of brothers, such as myself, who only seen my father once in my whole entire life, and I'm 43 years old, yes, and I wish I had a, a older role model still to this day that I could go and talk to. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I've always been the type of man to be around older men. You understand what I'm saying? Because I was raised to respect older men, and that's who you want to be like. I don't want to be like, and then what happens is nobody's stepping up. The respectable brothers ain't stepping up and doing nothing. So guess what they turn to? Oh, buddy on the street with the nice bins of the Beamer that's hustling, got all the bitches and all that. I want to be like him. And then you let, and these dudes in the streets that ain't about shit raise your kids. You understand you know what, what I'm you know, saying? You know what that does? That does. You got a lot. Let of... me get this caller match for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get that call Go ahead, caller. Get that caller. It's it's it's, it's Robbie Day. What, what up, Robbie? Rob, what up? What up? What up? What's good? So, uh, my contribution to this piece of the conversation is, I think that not only do men have to take responsibility, but I think moms need to take responsibility okay. for the that's relationship okay. between father and child, because just as many men mm -hmm. that's not stepping up are just as many women that's ruining relationships between the father and kid. Because A, that's out there. you're taking them to child support because they don't want you. B, you're putting them in the court system. There's a lot of that going on. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of folks saying, oh, but the niggas who's respectable or the guys who's respectable need to kind of take kids under their wings. Well, the respectable guys are the ones that's taking care of their own kids, mm -hmm. right? The respectable guys and the guys that's good are handling business for their own family, right? So, for instance, if I'm a guy, I got two daughters and a son, I'm busy. Now, if, 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 if I, I don't have time for nobody else's kids. That's why. Because I've got my kids half the month. And I, I'm, I'm, busy, I'm busy bringing them up and, and being a, an example to my own, right? And so, understandably so, there's a lot of men that's not doing that, right? But there's a lot of women... That's ruining that too. That's I put up a post uh, the women. other day that mm -hmm. said, you know, uh, a, a, lot, a lot of a lot of people don't know the other side of the story. They they don't have relationships with their father because their mother never told them the whole side of the story. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's true. And and and, and so. And but where so are you at I, when I the women that, say that? I think the culpability goes both ways. I don't take? think it's just men. Exactly. Because yeah. a lot of women, 
do a lot of things to destroy relationships between father and the, and the children. Yo, you, you know what? Right. I you know, think both parties destroy the saying, relationship. I'm, no, no let, let, him fin- let him finish. 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 Go ahead, Rob. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that. That's a hundred percent the whole way. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, I think it's co- it's a collective thing. The system. We involve the system in our families. We involve. We get mad. You know, the Connecticut, especially Connecticut. The system is designed. I go it's into when I go to court and I'm fighting for my kids. I'm automatically looked at as a Debbie dad. It don't matter what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. It don't. It don't matter how good I'm saying. And I don't get credit for doing the right thing either. You're supposed to do right. It. All I hear in court. <laughs> Well, all I hear in, in the public, in the media, is Debbie, Dad, Debbie, Dad. Let me tell you something. When a dad go into court and he wants his kid and the mother wants to limit access to him, I might as well just be a deadbeat dad when I go into that courtroom. Ask me how I know. So what I'm saying is it's a collective. I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to just, we're we not just going to sit here and blame the dads here. Nah. I think it's both, it goes both ways. Nah, you absolutely are. That was my contribution well, it, to this it, particular subject. All right, right Rob, thanks, thanks, bro. Thanks, Rob. It definitely um, goes both ways, especially from what was, go- what was said last week. I mean, at the end of the day, people have to start knowing who they're sleeping with. Like, right. y'all have to know who you sleep with. You have to do cr- checks. Like, d- you know, go into a woman's house... D- Okay, their house might be clean. Check the goddamn oven. Come See if the out. oven's clean. And I'm like, <laughs> hold on, let me ask a question. Like, Let's that? say you Check leave, you know, you leave the club, you're a little tipsy, mm. yeah. and she say come through, and she wants you to blow her out. I mean, if you're a respectful man, you wouldn't even come through and blow her out. Because you already know she had hey, 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 keep, 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 keep it real. 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, it's easy to say, oh, hold on, you should know who we dealing with, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever the case may be, but nine times it's out of insane. ten, the majority of the time, Man. that doesn't happen, you, like you even it said don't. with yourself, y'all, y'all slept on the first night, Absolutely. did you know him before you slept with him? Yeah, I actually had a crush on him since, no, no, all my life, know she him. know me all her life, but you didn't, but you didn't know him, she you know, I did, you knew you had a crush on him, I know my family, like, since elementary school, you, it's easy, she the literally politi- known my whole entire correct. family since she was like the eight years old. My point is this: so the politically correct thing, thing to say right. is right. get to right. know somebody before you whatever. You and something. yeah, in the ideal world, that does happen, but there are people slip up. But Yo, I wanted, I wanted to get back on what the brother said on can, the phone, please. Yeah, let's get back to. I want to get back to the kids. I do not. I do not, and I don't care what the hell anybody got to say. I don't agree with that. Oh, I'm worried about my kids, and if you see your neighbor's Come kid, no father, on, and you like fuck that, I ain't dealing with him because I, I got my own kid. You, got a lot of you a piece of shit. I you just, you know, understand I, what I, I'm I, saying? We, we, that's how I feel. I ain't that's calling that's the let me get let me a get, piece of get, shit. Get that caller. But I'm just saying that's foul. We need all callers. Caller, talk to us. Hi, this question may be a little off topic, but um, what what is your advice or what what what? What would you say about men who usually put their new significant other before their yeah, yeah. children? I was, I was just, see, she, I was uh, going on that. Baby. I was okay. going on that. Go, oh, Let's can go. I say something about it? Because I've been in that situation. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, uh, for, I, like it's, the only reason why I say it is because my father put his wife and his new family mm-hmm. before, you know, my sister and, you know, you know, a lot of that. Siblings. But, oh. Is there the only reason I could think of is because of his new wife and maybe insecurities with my mother? But why do men tend to do that? Yo, can I? Can I? I want to. I, I, I gotta touch this. Let me touch this. Yeah, real you want to share? I gotta share with this real quick. <laughs> we'll, we'll share. You just throw it to me when you're done. Um, I don't. Uh, what's your name, young lady? Carly. Carly. I don't. I don't. I don't know the the best way I could tell you this, and I'll keep it real. Is I'm gonna keep it as real as I could possibly keep it with you. Uh, men oh, like shit. that are pieces of shit. Exactly. That's the bottom line. If you can go lay up with another woman, knowing that you have kids and you take care of her kids better than you take care of your biological kids, he's a piece of shit, and she's no better because a real woman will hold you accountable and say, listen, yeah. you do more for my another, kids wanna, than you do for that. your own motherfucking children. I agree. Right. I so agree with that. I think you need to go spend some time with your own, incorporate them, so we can be incorporated as a family. That's what a real woman would do. That, but unfortunately, 
unfortunately, we're going to get back to this. Everybody don't have common sense. It's not exactly. common. <laughs> Everybody don't share the same views and morals in life. It just don't happen. Everybody don't incorporate Islam or Christianity yeah. or Buddhism or whatever the fuck you worship or respect as part of your spirituality. First, before you say I do, I'm going to make this woman part of my life. We, we don't do it. We, that's just the realness of it. Now, now let me tell you this. We got men that are fatherless like you, me. Yeah. Never seen our dads, never met them. Mm -hmm. But that can make you be a piece of shit or that can make propel you, you to great, be the great best dad ever. you can possibly so be. Can now, with we, that being said, I know, but I wanna wait, get hold on, with, with that being said, I'm telling the caller right now, with that being said, you got men who know what to do when it's time to do it, regardless of what the situation or circumstances is, and you got men that were never taught how to be men. So now you got women that got these so-called men in age, uh -huh. but not in mind and, and not in the way they present themselves and not in actions. Right. Now you got a generations of women that's trying to be mothers and, and wives and, and protectors to a bunch of men so-called men who never got it. So they looking at you like, nigga, I ain't your mother. <laughs> There's a lot of that going on right now. That's true. So now what I'm saying is that's why I said we got to get back to the village, man. Yeah. That's right. If you got a son and you a single mother and you got your father, you got an uncle, you got a cousin that's man enough, he got kids, you supposed to hold him accountable and make sure he comes spend time with this little man I, so he can give him what y'all can't give him. We talked true. about that last hey, week. Man, 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 you know, it, my, my, my wife, my, got, hold on, what do you oh, say, caller? I said I have one more question as well. Okay. Go ahead, girl. I yeah. forgot she was on. What would be your advice to, to kids? Do you know so what? That's why, can, I, can, I, can I speak on this real quick? They feel as if they're not important, but take care of their new wife, kids, and so on. All right. what was I want to speak make, on this because this is real in She's my life yeah, this is right, now. right now. So this has something. been real for 13 years. Yeah. I have children, his children, that feel the same exact way um, because of their mothers. Their mothers have put in their heads, oh, he left you for a white woman, moved to Florida, and had a whole nother family. Mm -hmm. Little did they know, every time he was calling, every time he was trying to be in their life, she didn't want them to, he didn't, she didn't want them to be bothered. Go they be with want. your wife. Go be with your new kids. How about he didn't ever have child support until we had our nine-year-old daughter, and his kids was already 16, 17, 18, the first week we had our daughter, um, one, two, three, we, he got support. served. One, two, three, <laughs> child support. One, two, three. 16, 17 years. So I understand, and, and that's absolutely ridiculous. As a woman, you shouldn't even be with a man that's not taking care of their kids. That's the bottom period. line. Period. You know, exactly. keep it real, girls. You know, and you shouldn't be the woman to sit there and, and be petty about it. Like, oh, he ain't taking care of your kids, but he taking care of mine. Yeah. Grow the fuck up because as soon as he leaves you, yeah. he ain't going to take care of those either. Yeah. Right. Trust right. and believe that. Right. But right. the thing is, the children, daughters, sons, I just, there's always another side to the story. Go talk to that other parent, be it a mother or a if father that wasn't involved, if because there's could. always another side to the story. Mm -hmm. You understand? So just because they wasn't in your life does not mean that they, they, it wasn't, you know, they didn't want to be in your life. Yeah. I see it too many times. Too many these times. brothers is out here wanting to be fathers, and these piece of shit mothers yep. some, won't let them be That's the it. because they bitter. That's it. They bitter as baby mothers, and they need a I've been, I've been, I've been in this one second. My oldest daughter is 24 years old. She graduated from UConn, right? She will not speak to me one bit because she was told by her mother that I abandoned her. Which is not true. Her sad. mother made sure that I couldn't get in contact with her. No way. Yeah, those out there. No how. They out there. That's sad. And, it is. No, they are out there. And my other daughter's mother right. got married and told my daughter, my husband, 
is your father. Fuck him. Yeah, they He's out a there. deadbeat. Wow. He don't want yeah, nothing to do with they you. Out there. He got with that white girl, and he got a whole new family. So listen, just like so my wife raised, said, they were, go, raised they were raised thinking that. So it don't always be the man going, nah, yo, I'm going to just oh, move on and take care of the family. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What do you say, caller? What's she saying? Because she's Zach. What do you say? I understand in certain circumstances that, you know, there's always two sides. Of the right. Story, but, exactly. You know, Some in my situation, my father is very sometimesy. You know, he's a part of my life, but it's very sometimes. Have you told like, him you know, how you felt? No, he's he around, but, you know, he's not around like that. Have you told him how you felt? I can recall uh, how many times my father has attended, I don't know, like a after school basketball game, track meet, where my stepbrother, he's at every game. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's flying to all the right. college games. He's at, he's everywhere. Has she talked but to him about it? The only reason why I'm saying this is because I know that there's kids out there. They want to know, have you talked know, to your father about it? We still suffer. Did you hear me? What'd you say? They want to know, have you talked to your father about it? The thing is, I've tried, but the type of person that he is, he's very like, I'm right. And mm -hmm. that's it. Mm. That's not what happened. But, you know, my mother, she gave me an opportunity to see for myself. Come on now. What it was like. My mom did. And the older I dad. got. Yeah. you going to see it for yourself. The older I got, man. the more and more I realized that, wow, like, this is really what it's like. Yeah. And I just take it for what it is. Have you ever talked to the stepmom? And to his wife? Why woman to woman? Excuse me? Talk to the stepmother for what? What you mean? So the, no, because listen, that's a part of the marriage. You think listen, she don't have no, no, an influence no, 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 on her no, no, husband? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> she don't want to no, tell him. Don't, don't be bothering with that. She's probably yeah. not telling yeah, him that. No, she's probably not telling him that. But she ain't pushing him. You understand what I'm saying? Let her know how she feels. Man, listen. But like you said, communication. If that communication ain't there, you will never know. There's going to be some questions and stones that's just never going to get untouched. We assume so much in life in so many situations can be fixed just by communication. Yeah, the people right are too quick to point the finger. Like, yep, it's his fault that we don't talk to you. That's it. Yo, Why? listen, there's until a, you ask and, but and find out. You know, never find out. But you know, it could be on the flip side too, because there's a lot of men that manipulates a woman. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen it. I've seen a lot of females that's really, literally not in their child life. They give them to the biological fathers, which is cool because they with their fathers. But dude, they don't have no type of no connection <laughs> with their child or anything with their child. So it could flip too. It's vice versa. Yeah, I mean, it can. It's I'm rare. I'm not going to my stepmoms if it's, I got a father. Phone. I need to go to my father and have a conversation call. with my father. Call, are you, willing, are you willing to talk to your dad? Of course. I mean, I don't have a relationship with my father, but it's not, really, it's not very open. We have conversations about things, but it's not like just how he, his reaction, and I don't want to deal with the reaction. You, I have a very close relationship with my half siblings and my stepbrother, and I wouldn't want to jeopardize that because you know I'm not cool with my dad. I think she what about whoa, that? Whoa, 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 she get it fucked whoa, up. Dad. Wait she a minute. Get to see her wait but what about the mother? She's, not, she's cautious about. Wait a minute. Right, wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo, you're about to go through your whole life with a bunch of built up resentment yeah. exactly. and shit and that you hurt. wish you could have said and, and got off your gonna, chest. You're gonna bring you, that resentment into your relationship. Into your yeah. relationship when you get into one. So you know what you should That's do. True. Since you don't want to deal with his reaction. I'm going to tell you what you do. You write him a letter. Exactly. That's the best way. Yeah. He's going to read everything that you got to say. He's going to suck it up and read it. But yeah, you're going to have to deal with his reaction. Account. You're going to know you had to say what you had to say. He's going to read that letter. You're right. He's going to read that letter. Right. You ain't got to deal with his reaction. You know what? I'm going to say this. As, but, as a but person... Then that puts in that, a situation where I don't have a relationship with my sibling. Because you're expressing There's how no. you feel? She know her father. She What's more important to you? What's more important to you? Your relationship. And listen, how how do you know that that it wouldn't better your relationship with your father? You, you got to take a risk, sweetie, because either way, you're gonna lose. You're gonna have that resentment. So you might as well get it out there and put it into the air, and, and then and instead of having chest. all that all that built up anger and resentment, because you're gonna not only resent your father, you're gonna end up resenting your siblings because you're gonna feel that they was more loved than you. That's, and this this is deep. This th these are deep down problems. 
that a lot of us in our city it, people have. And if he yeah. dies, she's she gonna hold so much resentment that's she ain't true. even gonna go to his funeral. No, nope. that's exactly. True. We see a lot of that shit going on. Exactly. Right like, so you oh. you need to you need and to go ahead and open that up. That, 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 that the cared. men ain't gonna do the same thing to her uh, yep. and the kids and yeah, it's, like, it's gonna be a cycle. It's gonna be a cycle. Let it go. Go talk to him and get it off your chest. What I suggest doing is. Talk to both of you, both of them, the stepmother and the father. Because mm -hmm. although you know, I think the, the stepmother holds an influence, and and I'm, I, I, I've been in the situation. You know, my father died, and today makes three years that we buried him. Sorry. And um, you know, for a long time, me and my me and my siblings held resentment against my stepmother because we felt that. She kept that she kept my father away. Mm -hmm. So we blamed we blamed her for for his lack of actually participating in our lives. Right. And you know, I That's feel like, you know, to, to really to get it out there because even though she is the mother to your siblings, she's she's a mother. So I think if you gathered them both together and you really put your feelings out there, mm -hmm. that you know you told both of them how you felt, mm -hmm. you may open the door to a better relationship. Because I, I feel like had you know maybe if I would have done that, you know, I would have had more time to to get to know who my father was before holding on to so much resentment and blaming his wife for us not having a relationship with him. So I think you should really reach out. To the woman, to your dad, and just lay your cars out on the, out there. Right. Just I agree. How you feel. Yeah, exactly. The, and another thing is, the older I get, the more I realize how he is and how he's gonna change, and it's just something that you accept. And people are just how they are. That's yo. why you get to the um, month. Yo. That's why you get to his wife because his wife is his conscience. Yeah, she I don't know. To me, you kind of sound like you kind of sound like your mother. It sounds around. like your mom you said a lot of things to your father. To you. Yo, can you I gotta get to the wife to get to call, your dad. Bro, tell her call her thank you. You know, we don't want to keep her on. Yeah. Call her thank you so much, Jeff, for calling her, right? Thank you. Talk, talk to your father, man, before you leave this yeah, earth. Yeah, please. Yo, can I just say this, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say this real quick because this is the realest shit I'm about to say right here. How about there are just some fucked up dudes out there, Absolutely. man? Exactly. There's just some fucked up dads out there, man. Exactly. Yeah. It, it, we can't blame it on the family, the woman, whoever he with at the time. Right. There's some dudes that they just don't want to do the right fucking thing. Exactly. Same with women. That's the bottom line. Same with women. It was Same with women. Bottom line. That's some it. women, That's, right. yeah. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Because if you're going to do the right thing by your children, you're going to co-parent. Right. I don't give a fuck if you're married to somebody else and you got a whole other family, you're still going to let that child see their father. Exactly. And if he a real man, he's going to come through, pick you, your brother up, your sister. Uh -huh. Whoever ain't got a father on that side, you're going to come. So that's a bunch of just niggas who don't want to be accountable and hold up to what they got they exactly. do. Men exactly. and women. Now I'm going to say this. Let me say, say this. Because I don't want to forget what I was about to say. Uh, everybody don't feel the same way about their fucking kids, guys. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? That's true. You got men and women out there who that's got kids true. that don't deserve to fucking have kids. Then you go out talk true. about Harry, You got, ain't got that shit enough to twist your arm <laughs> talk about to it. spend time and nurture your fucking children? Right. Talk about it. Everybody don't feel the same way. Me? Son, if I can stay at home and be a full-time dad and let my wife go bring the bread home, I'll stay at home and be a full-time dad. You know why? Because I know the greatness I'm raising with my kids around me all day. Exactly. Huh? I know the Absolutely. greatness I'm raising with just being a dad who tell my kids every single day, yo, be great today, man. Yo, you know I love you, right? My, me and my son go back and forth. Yo, you know I love you? Nah, dad, it's impossible. I loved you before you even knew I was your son. <laughs> I loved you before I even knew dad was going to, before I even knew God was going to give me a son to say hi to. I mean, go back and forth. Uh -huh. right. So, yeah, because every day I tell him I love him 32 <laughs> times a day. I just look at him and like, why are you staring at me like that? I'll be like, well, I'm, yo, I'm so blessed to have a handsome, beautiful son like right. you. Right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you can tell my son right now. He would be like, yo, what I always tell you, do I, I want you to be, how much time, how much, how much I want you to be better than me? He'd be like, okay, right. you always say I want you to be 10 times better than you. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's all on how you nurture and That's bring right. up your kids and all. Everybody's not the same. You gotta, people can't wait to get, drop off their kids yeah. and go turn up for the weekend yeah. and exactly. go do what they want to do, don't want to be bothered. People mm -hmm. can't wait to pick their kids up, send them in a the room in front of a TV screen and let them play on a computer until they pass out till 6 o'clock in yeah. the morning. Uh -huh. People can't wait 
That's Teach your seven on, kids with their grandmother. Let me ma go raise the damn babies. Man. That's right. true. Right. Yeah. So everybody don't feel the same way about their fucking kids. Let's just put that first and foremost. And you know kids what? are a blessing for some and yeah. a burden Very for others. Right. Right. So let's yeah. just put that on the right. table, and man. That is absolutely true. So all we can do is lead by example. I know I'm raising great kids, hands down. I can't speak for nobody else. You know why? Because I tell them every day they're going to be great. Right. Every day. Yo, uh -huh. go be great in that classroom today. That's right. Yo, mamas, be great when you're dancing in dance school today. Uh -huh. Son, be great on the football field today. Son, be great on the Whatever you do, if you write your name, write be it. Be great. Best. That's yeah. right. You, I don't care what you, you are the best. Because you are the best. And you know what else I want you to do? I want you to assist others. Don't laugh because somebody can't do what you do. Exactly. Help them. Right. Show them right. how to do exactly. Nothing like being a humble young man, loving, caring, smart, and intelligent. You have all the qualities. Right. So that's what I'm teaching my son. So what you learn, what's instilled in you, is what you will instill in your and children. And one of the things yeah. that you can Simple. also teach your kids, I feel like, as a mother that raised two sons, I look at my oldest son, he has two children, and and I and the father that he is is just it amazing. amazing. It's like, you know, it's like it's almost funny because I wish he was my dad. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I look at him as a father and I am almost like, wow, look at you, look at the product that I produce, mm -hmm. and look yeah. at the father that you are. Like him and his son have this special handshake. And when you know when, <laughs> That's cute. when, when my grandson <laughs> sees his dad, he, like the excitement in my grandkids' faces when they see their dad. So one of the lessons that I try to instill in my children is that never put your child through something that you didn't like. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because That's if right. it was something that made you feel some type of way, do not do that to your own children. Like, make sure that you fill in those gaps. And when I look There's at a caller. the product... Oh, let's grab this caller. I'm, I'm, yeah. oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm doing a thousand things. It, it, it's all good. It, it, it's Rob Day. All right. I, I love what my man is. Uh, what's my man's name? Mar? Mad. 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 That's me. Mad. My bad, brother. Mm -hmm. Yo. He's dead on. Listen. <laughs> Relationship and depression is important for you kids. Especially as men. Mm -hmm. Because when you're a kid, do this, man, who's our hero? Doing, man? Yep. Right. Uh, people from my daddy. With my credentials, daddy, they scared daddy me. Is the, uh, uh, a lot of elders that came up here, man, they daughter, speak a lot of stuff, and they still don't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you think stuff nobody can be to the people who are just having the attention of. Your father could be a crackhead, and you don't even know he's a crackhead. All you know is that's my father. That's my dad, y'all. That's true. Everybody has to be out here. None of us. We all have a sense of purpose. You know, a lot of men get in their feelings too. A lot of men yes. get in their feelings. A lot of sometimes we can act like bitches when it comes to our kids because mom is putting them on the child support. We, we can't get mad because they put us on child support and deny our kids our presence. Right. That's a shame. We can't do that. Right. Sometimes we gotta push through that shit. We gotta let. We gotta kind of. We, we gotta push through the bullshit because we know at the end of the day when our kids grows up they're gonna grow up old. Wholesome, because both parents are in their life. Whether it's equally or not, my presence, my, when, I, when my kids are in my house, some, I, sometimes I don't even see them for the whole night, but they just love being, being under the same roof with me. They love waking up when I, they love when I cook a breakfast. Somebody said the sound ain't right, Rob. Huh? Somebody said the sound ain't right. Yep. All that stuff is more important than child support. So that's the old to the women's standard. Yep. That's right. You know, you going after the men for that child support, when that, that, what that man's presence is way more important than that little, that little bit of change that the right. is telling you. He right. Sometimes I'll, I'll, you, I wish I was on child support. It'd be cheaper. Anyway. Right? <laughs> <laughs> But that's not child support is not the case. It's, it's like that in Connecticut, but in Florida. But that's a whole other story. Yeah. In Florida. Anyway, if, if your time, time, it's time, time, and presence. That's important because when the kids grow up, they don't feel like they're missing out. Said the I grew up without my real mother. The, the, the my mother wouldn't take it. Like but by the time they she died when I was seventeen, I probably yeah. lived with her maybe Absolute five years of my life. Yeah. I didn't even really know her when she died. Mm -hmm. All I knew is. When I was seven years old and my father would drive by her apartment building, all I know is I didn't care about nothing else. I just wanted to see my mommy. And that's the same thing with the fathers. The kids, they don't know about, they don't know that the mother took you to the court for child support. They don't know that the mother's killing, limiting your access, you know, and, and we shouldn't have to go fight for access, mm -hmm. but, but we have to, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we have to take the extra effort as men. We're men, we're stronger than a female. We're mentally and physically stronger than a female. We need to be able to push through the bullshit 
and be there for our kids. Because that, that's dead on. That's the bottom most line. Most definitely. Can't I agree with you. Most yeah. males can't push through stuff because they conditioned so long from all the traumas that they've been through from, from past generations. And it goes on until the kids' man, generations that's an and excuse, it evolves man. into that. That's an excuse. It ain't no excuse. It's a, it is it's an real. excuse because you have a choice to do right or wrong. You, you got a, a choice to be great. Or be a fucking <laughs> loser. So, so it don't long, matter what talk, happened. Let me, let me give you an example, so right? You know Jim Carrey, the actor? The man and his mother and his brother and his sister and their father was living out the back of the station wagon picking out of garbage cans. Look at um, uh, 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 Tyler Perry. Lived in a cardboard box. He made the decision that I'm not going to live like this no more. So when you sitting there talking about, oh, the white man keeping me down or the system keeping keep me down, down. you keeping your fucking self down. So you, and that's and, and anything less than that is, is uncivilized, bro. So Trust you, me. So me and this man agree. used to be on the street 24-7. He just said some people just don't no guidance. So and you, we business owners now. So you, you don't feel like if somebody can make a certain way so long. And it's just like drug addicts. When they use a drug for years and stuff like that and they try to transition, they have to retrain their whole mind to think a whole different way right nope you don't think so i was a drug addict for 13 years straight that's just you you will speak for yourself you got to speak for the masses i'm speaking you, right for me. You speak for the, you, exactly <laughs> what you i can't saying. tell you what other people going through so it's you like can't, so you said, can't say that a but i'm too. saying it's an excuse man it's, it's not a crutch it's not until excuse. black people it's not all excuse. together it's, stop using this. shit as a crutch this. you if won't be no one grew with your father right now you got two sons you gonna use that as a excuse? I never had my dad. Yeah, so I ain't gonna no, do no fight. <laughs> It comes from the hurt of somebody <laughs> dealing with it. It takes a lot to get out you of that pain. You know what that feels like. I never had my father. Now, if you know how, 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 how much that hurt, the environment can have an effect. Let me tell you something. The environment can have an effect on people in ways that they don't even understand. I understand. And personally, like I said, my father, he wasn't there in my life. But at the same time, I know my father. And I'm a great father. I have a child of my own. I'm 28 years old. I thank you, Rob, for even allowing me to be up here to use this platform. It means you're a great father. Yes, it means. Nine out of ten times. Let me tell you something. Nine out of ten. Tell your name. You're a great father. You ain't gonna be that nigga. I'm people, Fuck that. yeah, people are asking who are my you. My name is Anthony, but people call me Brother Bankers. I'm from New Haven. Everybody know me. If you don't know me, check around my name. My credentials is definitely certified out here. In the midst of that, like I said, my father, he wasn't there. Ladies, man, in the midst of the lifestyle that you guys, that your generation, happened to endure. Yep. It was top of drugs and all type of stuff. He yep. happened. To, he his father wasn't there, so he went into the life of just I said dealing with women and feel me. Uh, excuse me, because I'm. I said, because I'm kind of a little disturbed a little bit by some of this stuff, because most people from my background won't even come up and step up and do this. Mm -hmm. And there's people from from the working class of people saying, I'm saying, yeah, not from the streets and none of that stuff, but most people from the streets, they're not willing to step up and speak about a lot of things that's hurting them inside and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's why they're not o able to overcome none of this stuff. Okay, well, I, well let me, let me, can I say something? Can we grab this caller? Can we grab this caller? Yeah, take a caller. Go ahead, caller. Yeah. I was just looking in on this, and I'm just just uh, kind of thrown away a little bit behind this. I mean, the conversation to stuff is good. My thing is that, you know, I understand that the other gentleman with the dreads, you know, he can't speak for everybody, but then he can't basically say, well, you know, this person can't do this, this person exactly. can't do this. And, and in a world that we live in, and there's so many variables that's out here. You know, you can have a you can have a parent that's on drugs, and you can either take that choice to either be on drugs or totally not touch drugs. Right. So it's an individual type of situation. That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> so so every situation choice. is different. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of situations where you know women is abusing the situation with the power with the kids. You know, there's a lot of factors that we need to address with that, too. You know, like you said, environment does play a part in a lot of things. Everything plays a part. Mentality, you know, the strength within yourself. Some people, you know, can go to work every day. Some people feel like they don't want to go to work. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's so many different things that we have to be accountable for, and a lot of people is lacking accountability. You see what I'm saying? That, uh, how you say, that it takes a village to raise, a, to raise one child. That that slogan is gone. People people is not living that no more. Women are not teaching their women to, to have femininity no more. They're because teaching them to be men. That. So everything, all the structures that we was growing up with, is now becoming abandoned. And now these people who is not, uh, uh, how would I say, morally correct, is taking this this stand and, and raising your kids to be whatever. 
You know, nobody want to take the responsibility no more. You know, if you've seen a female, when I grew up, if a, if, a, if, a, if a female saw another female who was lacking, you know, she'll pull a wing and she'll, you know, she'll put her up to speed and show her, you know, this is what you need to do. Now, you know, we making, we, you know, we just letting them fall under the cracks, right. you know. Grown woman, I'm not taking the responsibility. That's her situation. She's going to be and do what she's going to do, and that's it. It's like no accountability. Nobody cares about nobody no more. Yeah. This is why family and instructions is just being broken down in this individual base now. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, the young brother had some strong issues. The other guy had some strong mm -hmm. issues. You know, your individual experience does play a factor in other people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of boys that don't have father figures, you know, they look for other men. Uh, for structure. That's why we have a lot of people who join gangs and, and vice versa. But if if they're not too hard to love themselves, you know, that, a prime example, most of the men right here, uh, most of the men in the world who don't have fathers, they grow up whatever age they reach and they think that's what a man is. Lack mm -hmm. of responsibility, right. lack of all of that. You know what right. I'm saying? And I just think that we all just need to take accountability and more so to help yourself first before you can try to help anybody else. If you take the time out to do more about you, you wouldn't be able to have enough energy and time to be worried and focused on somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. That's I agree. I thanks, bro. Hey, thanks a lot. I would like to clarify something. When I said I speak for myself, it's because you don't know my story. Drug addict, fatherless child, 14 years in prison, homeless. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you know my story, then you'll understand, understand when you use that and you could take my story to identify maybe something that I've done, you haven't tried. You understand what I'm saying? So when I say that, I'm, I've been through a lot. I ain't up here to give my side story. My wife is one of the strongest women I've ever met in my life. She's been through stuff that would make you cry as a grown, strong man. You understand what I'm saying? And... She's a businesswoman. She's own. She own businesses, man. She's one of the greatest people I know. I we've been through it. You understand what I'm saying? If you know me, then to know me is to know my story, Come so you ahead. can understand. When I say I speak for myself, because not everybody's situation is different, but we all could understand. We could all understand pain. Right. I grew up in, in 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 the hell. You understand what I'm saying? I'm from the hood, but I don't, I, I, I want Hold my on, kids. Brother. I want my kids to visit the hood. I don't want. I don't glorify that I'm from the hood. I don't glorify that I've been shot. I don't glorify going to prison. I don't glorify being a drug addict. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's not what I'm trying to teach the kids. I'm trying to teach you, yo. You could make it. Don't use this. Oh, I've been locked up. I, yo, I've been I, I, I've been locked up for so long in my life, and I got one of the craziest criminal history backgrounds. And guess what? I got a job. So don't sit there and tell me you can't find a job because you're a criminal. You right, can't do right. this. When you keep putting can't in your vocabulary, I don't even teach my kids you that. Breathe it to life. You, you bring it into right. existence. I could do whatever I want. And that's what me and my wife tell our kids all the time. You could be whatever you want. My daughter is nine years old and she wants to be a neurosurgeon and a cardiologist. That's my dope. eight-year-old daughter wants to own the VA hospital and help people. What you you understand what I'm it's, saying? It's, it's this is what, too, I'm right? it's what you expose them to. Them, that's right, right. Exactly. Exactly. exactly but just imagine the people that's not exposed to but so i much. wasn't exposed to none of that Ex none of that but you, you understand what i'm the saying pain that you abuse, endured, the pain that you, misused, endured, you found power in it to get out of your situation right? exactly but, most but i'm not saying but what i'm saying is I if you're sitting can't. there they saying can't. you they can't do something to. they don't want to just oh, like they said they don't want to just like fuck it i give up on life this one of the hardest things us as black people yo can i can i speak just got her please come back to her i'm coming back go ahead caller yo rock d what up Dave, what's good? It's Davey what's White. Up? <laughs> Davey White, what up? Hey, Davey. Big Dave, what up, boy? Marriage. It just so happens I wanted to send a shout out to my parents. Today okay. is their 48th wedding anniversary. Oh, wow. Trials and tribulations <laughs> of life and stick together with one another. And it's just a blessing to be able to see that. And there's exactly. hope for everybody when it comes to marriage. If you, you know, if you if you look at examples like that, mm -hmm. and that's all I want to say. Oh, your show was great, though. I love it. Thanks, Thank bro. You. Appreciate you, man. Good work, y'all. 
Thank you, sir. Please come back there, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Go ahead. Peace, okay. After, now, after the game, we're going to go to a commercial. All right. All right. Now, first, I want to say that um, I was emancipated at 14. So I was on the streets. I lived in New Haven. My mom moved to North Carolina. Whoa, 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 whoa. You was constipated till you was 14. Um, emancipated. Emancipated. Um, on the streets. So I had to live from house to house, friend to friend. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying that my situation is harder than any other than, than any other person in the hood because it's not. I had my own challenges being white and living in the hood. That was my a different challenge than I would re relate to somebody getting pulled over because of the color of their skin. So we had different challenges, but I still had the challenge of living in poverty and living in the hood. So not only did I get emancipated, I got raped. I got uh, my oldest daughter is the product of rape so and i was raped by gunpoint because i was white and the guy wanted to know what a white was girl was about was black. okay so i i i i i was molested all that Ooh. other stuff I, I i've been clean off of dust may 6th will be 10 years i haven't smoked dust okay so i'm i'm i'm, I'm that woman that lost their kids in the system because i wanted to be in the streets I'm that I'm that girl. You understand what I'm saying? I'm that girl that has, you know, I have a broken jaw. I have I had eight stitches from my prior I didn't relationship. Do it. Prior relationship. <laughs> so there's not one thing Clarify that a that. woman has been through that I have prior. not been through. Do you understand? So for you for the young brother right here to say that because if you have all these stipulations that you know it takes a condition to get out of it. That's bullshit. I never been to an NA meeting. I didn't have one. I woke up one day and said, Fuck this, I don't want to get high no more. But do you got I'm faith? I'm not getting high. Right, do you got faith? Do you have faith? Can I hold on? Hold on. No, 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 do you have faith? I didn't even know who God was. Yeah. I didn't even know who God was. I didn't know who God but was. But you know what? You are a blessing. No, I didn't know I who God it. was. None of that. I, I didn't search for God until after I got clean. And mm. that's 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 when I started searching for God. I wasn't born Muslim. I became Muslim because I was in, I, I started looking at all different religions. And I, I, I researched all the religions. It's so it had nothing to do with faith. Yeah. Yeah. Your testimony is dope, I though. I, I respect the queen. Your testimony great, is dope. Beautiful so testimony. I, I just want to say that if I could do it, I feel like if I could do it, anybody, anybody else can do it. But everybody not like you, though, queen. Queen, everybody is not like you. Everybody don't have the same mindset as you. Everybody don't have the same will as you. Exactly, you right about that. However, y'all not uplifting right now, though. That's the talk talking about. But y'all not uplifting right now. Y'all sitting up here saying for anybody to struggle with that is bullshit. You can't say that. You can't say that. We're saying if you're using that as an excuse because it's not an excuse. It's just that's just the process. That's bullshit. That's just the process. When you got out of jail, you didn't find a job the next day. Right. So well, you wanted in a million. Though. You yes, wanted a million. You wanted a million because but I know that, it's people out here. If I was one in a billion, it's, it's people it out here. It still can happen. It's, and nobody's nobody saying that it's not happening. Happen. But, but, but you can't knock somebody. But you can't knock somebody. You let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. This is the thing, though. Just because people are stating what they're going through doesn't mean they're using it as a crutch. You're saying though, I can't get out of this situation because I'm in the hood. You understand what I'm saying? But everybody is not like you. Exactly. Everybody. It doesn't even matter. Everybody have a story. It's the difference between using. So I can't. No, everybody have a story, but everybody is not like you. Using something as a crutch and actually saying what you're going through. Right. And a lot of people mistake that. Definitely. And that's mm -hmm. that's not right. At the end of the day, you're not uplifting whoever that person is. If you're saying, oh, well, I did this, so you should be able to do that. And nah, it don't always work like that. Why not? You were Because Why it doesn't. Why your example not because help it somebody else? That's not Why an not? example if you're saying, Why if not? you're belittling somebody 
only because they that's didn't follow in the same somebody. footsteps. That's yes, it is. Like that's, yes, it is. That's, that's your opinion. Opinions. Everybody has your different opinions. Right. Well, if when, can I, when, I'm, I'm, when I'm you sorry. hit rock bottom, that's the only way to go. Well, can I just, I want I want to jump in right quick. So my rock bottom is different from your rock bottom. Can I just jump in real quick? But our experiences are the same. Commercial break. It's a different of all. Rob doing commercial right quick? Rob getting paid for sponsorship. He's don't go nowhere. We're about to get into marriage. All this shit is yes, crazy. Marriage. We're going to talk have... about marriage, submission, Man, you still married? and all that. Yeah, we'll right back to the report. I... Sexual abuse of a child exploits and degrades them. It can cause serious damage to social, emotional, and cognitive development of a child. Sexual abuse affects one in four girls and one in six boys before the age 18. Hi, my name is Zanetta Berryman Cooper, founder of Speak Out Now. Speak Out's goal is to spread awareness of child sexual abuse and rape. We provide resources for victims, their families, and help with the overall healing process. For more information, Please like and visit our Facebook page, Speak Out 203, or call 203 936 9396. You're watching The Raw Report. Get your spent right, check engine light for a better price at start. Get your line with tights, your body's nice for a finer price at start. Get your shorts done, rims custom, we don't overprice when we charge. Now nah, get the lowest price at start. Yeah, get the lowest price at start. Hoping at 8 o'clock, rims stay in stock. And we gon' hook you up, you don't pay a lot for your breaks and shocks. Cause we gon' hook you up at start. Custom designer slides by Roy Religious Jones. Non fur is thirty dollars. Fur and bow tie slides thirty five dollars. You get the slides, your custom design, all mailed to you. It's a deposit of half the total to get started, and the rest when they're finished and ready to be mailed. We use Cash App or PayPal for transactions. We also need your size and what would you like on the slides. Be the envy of your neighborhood and show off your slides. Don't forget, spring is coming. Show off them feet with the new custom designer slides by Rory Religious Jones. We need you to check this out. For more information, inbox Rory Religious Jones on Facebook.com. Cracking Up Saturdays presents them Wild Boys live. Chico B and Carlos Miller from Dick Cannon, Wild and Out. Featuring Shakira Curry. Hosted by me, Chris C. Snacks Park. After party is followed. MC by Jerry from Respect Life. That's Saturday, March 31st. Doors open 7.30. Showtime, 8.30. Located at Creative Venue, 40 Logan Street, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Pre-sale tickets are March 12th. Tickets are $30. Or $40 at the door. Brought to you by Kate Enterprise. Check engine light? Check this out. Star Tires Plus Wheels does alignments, brakes, shocks, wheel repair, suspensions, struts, batteries, and more. Over 30 years of trusted service to keep you on the road. Bring your car to Star and let us hook you up. All right, we back. You need to uh, hit me up. Uh, uh, Zanetta, go ahead, Zanetta. Yeah, oh, it's the commercial over. Yeah, so, Look, I feel like I'm a, I'm a real report junkie. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Hey, Good. Zanetta. How you doing? <laughs> I just wanted to just kind of touch on um, just the whole fact that um, you guys were saying that some people can do it, some people can't. They use it as a crutch. But um, and then we also, you guys also touched touch on faith, right? Do you have faith? And I remember the young lady that's um, sitting, there, sitting there, the married woman, um, she was saying she didn't know who God was. Sometimes we don't know who God is, and he'll come and save us in, while we're in our mess, right? And some people, if we, if we be honest, queen, and um, cotton girl, people do use those as excuses because they're not ready to submit and to become clean and become that responsible person or become that better person that they have the potential to be because they are comfortable in their mess. Sometimes people are okay with the pity party. Sometimes people 
are okay with making excuses because they're not ready. So it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have faith or everybody is different because God has no respect to person. Mm -hmm. He can use you. Look at me in my situation. I know some of you guys are familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Some of you are not. But you guys just seen I speak out commercial. That's me, my life. God used me. If he can use me and then he can change some things around for me in my life, why can't he do that for everybody? He has no respect to person. So you can't continue to go on and allow people to make excuses. You just keep on pushing them and say, hey, brother, you're better than that. Hey, sister, you're better than that. Right. And that I completely so understand. We can't that say wasn't... That everybody's not the same because he has no respect to person. Right. No, that's understandable. And I'm not taking nothing from that. What I was saying was you can't say somebody's using something as an excuse because it's taking them longer to get to that point than it took you is what I was saying. And I felt like the way they were coming about it was not encouraging, but belittling. Definitely. And that's not how gotcha. that's, that's not a solution. Like you, you wasn't like on your speak out. Now you don't say, Oh, just because this happened doesn't mean you got to da 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 No, you help them go through their emotions, go through what it is, go through their healing process. You know, you, you actually have an outlet for them to be able to go through those different things so that they can be in a better place. You get what I'm saying? But right. my and thing was... when it comes to drug addicts and stuff like that, you have to... Sometimes they do have to hit rock bottom to understand right. that there's a better way. Right. And I understand, I completely understand that. But my whole thing is, let's try to uplift versus belittling. And you can't, you can't, you can't judge somebody else's situation based on your situation because everybody's situation is different. You can't judge somebody else's situation based on your mindset because they don't have the same mindset as you. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, and instead of... Some people are mentally stronger than others. Right, exactly. Very, very true. Exactly. So instead, let's uplift versus belittling. And that was my whole thing. That was thing. my reason for calling. Because okay. we, 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 God has no respect to person. He can use everybody and anybody. We just, right. as brothers and sisters, we have to stop being judgmental, stop pointing the finger, and right. just say, hey, you can do it, you can do it. Even if they don't get it, because sometimes you got to beat somebody head up against the wall just for them to get that they are great because they don't see that. Mm -hmm. So us as, a, as people, we have to do that for one another. Right. No doubt. All right, sister girl. Okay, now. All right, that's all I wanted. You guys have a good night. Take care. Thank Thanks you, so. All right. Bye bye. Now we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna jump into some because we we were supposed to be up here about marriage talk. Exactly. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, wait. So they they wanted to bring a, a married couple up here. I mean, married woman. So we did even better. We got a married couple up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you guys are under the Islamic flag. Is that safe to say? Yeah, we didn't start that way. Yeah, we didn't start that way, though. You didn't <laughs> start that I've way. I've been Muslim for, uh, since I was 20 years old. I'll be 43 in August, so. Okay, how long have you been Muslim, Mom? Um, my first husband. But I really, I really wasn't, like, into it. Like I said, I, I didn't really know who God was until afterwards. But right. I was always interested in Islam. But I just, before we talk about that, I just want everybody to know, I will never downplay anybody that was where I was. Ever. Right. Like, um, the, the people that I do see, I, I left F Connecticut for seven years and moved to Florida, and I came back up here, and a lot of people I used to get high with are still getting high. And you know what? And I call them, and I talk to them, and I tell them how I did it because I want them to get where I am. I don't want to see nobody down. I am the type of person, if I see somebody on the street that's a cr that smokes crack, I'm going to talk to them and ask them if they need help. What do you need? Because some, people get high because they, they, they are running away from a problem. It doesn't start like that. You start because you want to party. That's where you start. But then the addiction takes over because we all have hurt. We all have pain. We've all been through something. We all might not have a father or a mother or we've been molested or we've been in jail or we've been something happened to us along the way. So we need to fix that pain and that hurt. That, that that has to happen. So as as much as I understand what my husband was saying, I also understand what the bro what the young brother was saying. You, you understand? It is a transition, especially if you don't have any positive people in your life. You and that's emotions. where we need to go back to what Majesty said. We all, if you're a positive person, you should be a positive person for everybody around you. Right. People you don't know. The strangers. <laughs> 
That's what you need to be a positive person for because the strangers will listen to you better than your close friends and your family members. So go talk to people. Go up to somebody you don't know and talk to them. See if there's something you can do or tell them that might help them one day because that's what we need as people in general. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So no. And to go back on the marriage thing, yes, we ended up... Um, I, 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 I never met Kia D in my life, right? I have a lot of Facebook friends on Facebook. I never met a lot of people on my Facebook page. Mm. I will randomly go on their page and say, damn, you look beautiful today, sis. You have beautiful eyes. You know, d damn, brother, you're doing a good job as a we father. Need we like need this. to hear this need as need people. You understand what I'm exactly. saying? We need to breathe that 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 encouragement in other people. You know, you never know. That person could be about to kill themselves, and you just tell them, damn, sis, you look really, that, that hair looks beautiful on you. Right. And you might change their whole sp perspective on life. Right. Just that simple. Right. So, you know, it's sickening today how so many people downgrade each other, and the, especially women. Oh, yeah. God, I hate that, man. Women downgrade. We are our worst critics. Mm -hmm. We downgrade each other. And so uh, speaking about the marriage part, that's one advice I want to give you. If you are married, stop going to your friends Come on and telling them your business. Okay? Because your single friends that's never been married, they don't want to see you married. Some so they're going to tell you to leave your <laughs> husband. Some. If you have a friend, even if you're not married, this is not even just for marriage. If you're, with a, if you're in a relationship and you go talk to your friend, be it a man or a woman, and they tell you to leave that person, don't talk to them no more. Right. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. unless it's like abuse or some crazy stuff like that. But if, they, if you're, they're sitting there telling you to leave Gosh, them man. and don't be with them, that that's not a good friend. You no, know not what? When all. I talk to my friends, my friends say, "What'd you do, Christina? You need somebody that's going to encourage did, what you." What did you do? Because I know it wasn't just him. He 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 ain't just do it. You must have did something too. So what? It, what really happened in the situation? You understand? Right. So I I really want to like say that like stop talking to your friends about your business. Like those are the because that friend that you have, he sees how they see how your man treats you. Yeah, right. they, they don't want, want that too. Man. They right. want your men. Now, so unlike me, talk, not everybody is likes polygamy. Yeah. So they're not going to welcome another woman in their relationship. Right. So so you, you don't 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 allow them to be in that relationship. There's no way in hell I would let one of my friends come over and I'm not home in my husband's home. Not happening. Y'all ain't that. best friends. Y'all right. ain't cool. We don't we don't We, we don't get in jail like that. If a man and... ever came to my house and my husband wasn't home, you can't even get past the front door. There you go. You understand don't what I'm not. saying? Whether it's a business or not, my husband has to be in the household because you don't know what's gonna happen. Like it, it doesn't matter if we're not attracted at this one point in time. You never know. You could just be having a bad day and be like, damn, his shoes look good. So right. you you understand what I'm saying? So you you should never allow somebody else to come in between your marriage and destroy your friend, marriage a family member anybody they shouldn't be in your marriage that that marriage should be between a woman and a man you right. understand and then at the end of the day what you have to do is you have to uplift each other let me tell you i'm gonna tell me and my husband been through everything everything we've surpassed anything, everything you if you can think about something that will break up Tom and, and Mary, that we, we've been through that. We overcame that. See, the problem today is marriage, every time there's something that just happens, like, oh, this one thing happened, we get into an argument, y'all breaking up. That's it. I want a divorce. That, I want a divorce. That's it. I want a divorce. I, that everything is, I want to break up. I want a divorce. You don't work out that the problem with marriage is, is you is, commitment. is commitment. You don't like that person every day. That's You're right. not in love every single friggin' day. You right. can't stand that person sometimes, but mm -hmm. it's the point of you getting together and overcoming that loving that person enough to overcome that. That's, and, and, that's what marriage is. And, and Islam, a lot of people don't have that. Even in a relationship. That's how and, it is too. In Islam, it tells you when you think of something and I advise this and Islam, the reason I was, attracted to it because it's real you understand what i'm saying everything make common sense anything that we tell you about this religion is just plain common sense right so in islam it tells you that you know when you think of something that you hate or dislike about your spouse think about the thousand other things you love about them right and what happens is you condition yourself to every time she or he does something you don't like Instead of you thinking about the thing they don't that you don't like, you end up thinking about all the things that you do love about them. You understand what I'm saying? And 
It even goes so far as to say when you see an attractive woman. Somebody said people want the wedding but not the marriage. What you think about that? I that's absolutely true. I I really believe some people yeah, want to just go out around and say they want the I'm they, they want the title. You understand what I'm saying? They just want the mm-hmm. title. But also, it also tells you in Islam that um, if you see an attractive woman, this for the men, and I'm gonna speak from the men's perspective. My wife gonna speak from the woman's perspective. You know, and we've been together for 13 years, like we said before. It says if you see an attractive woman in the street. That you should immediately run home and make love to your wife. You understand what I'm saying? And the common sense That's behind high, that is... That's you know, and I want to put this out there for There's always That's someone listening. prettier, him Islam more handsome only out there. has a 1.5 to 2% divorce rate. It doesn't happen in Islam. 1.5 to 2% divorce rate. Wow. In That's America... True. It's the worst is like percent. Shit. You won't make it past the first year when you get married in the United States. You understand what I'm saying? Just God. like without religion, let me just put it that way because it ain't really you know. Yo, I'm not gonna make my I'm without the way of life. Myself. But what I'm saying, it, the reason they tell you that is because it conditions you to only think about the woman you with. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So if you see an attractive woman and you run home to your wife after a while. An attractive woman that you see on the street becomes your wife. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, Not meaning that you physically say, hey, that's my wife. You automatically that's see her as your use. wife. You understand what I'm saying? Not her, but your your physical wife that you have at home. So when you see an attractive woman, you don't see that woman that's walking down the street. You see your wife that's at home. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And like my wife, I wanted to expound on like with my wife. Where no men, men deal with men in Islam and women deal, deal with, with women. women yeah. Reason being is because our prophet told us, Salah Allah Allah he said that when a man and a woman are alone. Congratulations, Cheryl. Congratulations. Well, when a woman, a man and a woman are alone, the third party's the devil. You understand what I'm saying? And we use this because it's like if a man and a woman are engaged in conversation, eventually there's going to be an attraction about something. You understand what I'm saying? And this is how you're lead this is how you get led into committing adultery. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because when you're married, it's adultery. It ain't fornication. Because people do fornication all the time. But it's adultery. You commit in a major sin. You understand what I'm saying? So that leads to bad problems. Like we don't hang with single people. Period. So point you think blank. Last Yo, we week just said, said that last, last week. week. I, Yo, I, I was we gonna head it off. Right. That sing, so single people should not be in a married person's situation? Not Thank in a circle, not. No, 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 no. I no, beg no, no. They can really relate. I beg to differ. Can a single person get a married couple of advice on their marriage? Yeah. No. 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 I beg to differ. No. 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 I beg to differ. I won't even listen. I won't even listen. I won't even listen to it because. I beg to differ. Because they can't. Let me, you know, at the end of the day, I think we need to get into how do you get married? How do you give advice on something that you're not? But if I you think the that's like going, that's like I think going the pro- to a doctor but you know what? to get legal advice. The problem it is, no the problem is, is that there's so many people out there acting like they're married that they don't even know what marriage is anymore. Exactly. So that's exactly. my hubby. That's the wifey. Yeah. You don't understand what I'm saying? Or and they're giving them all. That he's more. He, he's but if moving they know, in. If they he's doing this. They're doing everything as a married couple without the title. So nowadays, marriage means nothing. There's no importance of marriage anymore there's no importance of it everything is boyfriend girlfriend there's no importance of marriage it's so bad that you got women out here knowing men like myself got a ring on see it know i'm married because all i do is talk about my wife and still be like i don't care you want to see if you happily married now. yeah exactly. right because you, know, you, know, you can be married, married but not happily married so you you you're not always happy in a marriage you're not always happy you're definitely not you're not always happy you're not and always sometimes happy. you can no. go outside your marriage no, okay. no, 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 Man, no, 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 no I'm not no, no, saying no, no. you. No. It happens. I'm not yeah, saying it, you. It happens, but you shouldn't. That's why. Right. That's you why. You know what I'm saying? See, but that's, if that's, the union is real, you see, you your see, marriage is real. See, this but is you why. have to work on that. It's not Most an overnight definitely. thing. Just see, no, it's not. Everything is about work. We ain't goody two see, shoes. This is, this is what I'm. This is not. You have to work on it. When you're tempted, you have to be a man and say no. Yo, listen, right, right. As a woman, exactly. no, because you respect and love and care for that person. Right. You understand? You made a commitment, and this is what Islam is, what, what I love about Islam, because I don't care what's going on with anybody else. 
I'm so, worried about, I'm not worried about what you think about me, what you think about my marriage or none of that. I'm worried about what God think about me. So when a woman step to me, I don't fear if my wife going to find out. I fear that God is watching. Somebody you said, what I'm somebody saying? said that, um, you definitely fear some is in out. a marriage, but not married. <laughs> let me, let somebody me. says some is in a marriage, but they not married. They do it all the time. That's wifey. But that's what I that's said. Hubby. That's hubby. That's hubby. That's wifey. Mm-hmm. You playing you house. You saying? You playing house. You playing house. You playing house. house. And as a woman, uh-huh. you're not even respecting yourself enough to get his last name. Exactly. Okay? Let me, let you're not me, respecting right, yourself yeah, enough go to get, get his last question. name. Yeah, go get it. I have a quick question. Like, okay. So what we were discussing earlier about uh-huh. the Islamic You don't state. need a paper to get married. Right? Okay. And so, right. and then I'm, going, no, I'm now, reading that I'm comment. glad you said that. Cause that because somebody just that. said you need a paper. You need a paper. Um, once, to, you paper. once you have that paper, it's different. Let me explain no, something to you. I'll tell you about Islam, and we talked about this before the show. No rain. Or, you, or the Bible, or the, or the Torah, or the, or the Quran says to get married is two people, okay. God and a witness. That's it. Yeah. So you don't need okay, no goddamn paper let me tell you, you need a birth certificate, right? In the United States, you need a birth certificate. So if I give birth to a baby and I don't bring it to the fucking hospital and get a birth certificate, does that mean my baby ain't alive? Right. <laughs> if right. I get married, if I get married on Friday, at the church on Friday, the pastor signs the paper and I don't bring it to the courthouse till Monday to get my marriage certificate and pay that damn fee, does that mean I'm not married? Right. Does that mean that okay. whole weekend I'm so, not married? So, right. It's a contradiction. I, I, I definitely want to... It's a contradiction. I, I want something. So can I just... I just want to say one thing. Okay. Because we were talking about the Islamic faith, right? And with the Islamic faith, there are more than one marriages allowed. Now, we know that... More than one wife. More than one wife, right? Not, one, not more than one man. More, more than, than one, one wife. wife. Okay. But we know that that's illegal in the state of Connecticut. So, I just want to go a little further. So, with mm-hmm. that being said, the marriage is technically not recognized by the state because it's not it's not documented. So, when you say that a person that says wifey or hubby relationship or marriage is not respected, it's kind of like the sort of the same thing. The right. Is, it's no, okay. no, 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 no. The no, it's not. It's How not is it? Because respected did they, did they have a witness? The conditions. Did they well, have what, a witness and both of them said? They have a witness that, and they both said, so they married. this is my husband So and they're my married. Wife. They're so, married, but, okay, but, but how many people do you know in a relationship that's calling each other hubby and wife? And so do y'all call saying, each other sister hey, wives? Rob. Y'all sister wives? Hey, Rob, what? I don't have I, I, I want to know. Like, if you, have I, a hold on, hold on, yet. hold on, queen. Hold on, queen. I'm just asking you, you a question. A if you're married to him, that's uh-huh. your husband, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. You're the first wife. Right. So Ain't no if, first or nothing. All right, okay, all right, all right. So you're the wife. Uh-huh. Okay, and if you're the wife and he go out and say, listen, wifey or wife, mm-hmm. um, I see a young lady that, you know, that I feel that's suitable for the other position. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Can I bring her home? So she, I'm just saying so she could be a wife as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hold so on. Do you, hold hold on, on, on. Let me... do you call her sister wife or what do you call her? What do you... So, so let me break this down real quick. Break it okay? down. First of all, know. he don't have to tell me shit. He can go out there and marry another woman. He don't need my permission. So I don't even have to I'm know. saying when but you listen, agree listen, with listen. it, do you call her sister, whoa, wife, whoa, or what? Whoa, whoa, and he can go out there and do whatever he want to do. I'm converting to mine. You really want to do what you want to do? I'm confused. Let me answer the question. I'm confused. Let me answer the question. So I'm confused. So the question that you ask is, what would the other woman be called? We call them co-wives. That's my co-wife. Oh, yeah. so, like a job? No. Well, I mean, a co-wife like a job? A drive. No, a co-wife. Wife. That's a co-worker. Oh. I'm a, it's a co-wife. Oh, we are a partner in one. So, and let me explain the reason before all the men in the room get all excited about yeah. marrying another woman. Right. So, Damn it, I got excited. I get excited. Let me explain. Let me explain. I'm going to make sure my wife I just want to explain real quick for, for people don't think because there's, trust me, there's men out there that um want to convert to Islam just because yes, of that. Sir, oh, I can have four wives? Okay, but they but have Islam. Listen, you gotta be able to afford the so, household. So listen, there's there's a difference exactly. between 
Islam Honestly. and Islam. A lot of brothers that come, you know, a lot of brothers that that get into Islam, and I'm sorry to say, the ones that come from jail and stuff like that, they're learning Islam. They're using manipulation to these women, and they're teaching them their kind of religion, and that's not sure. Islam. But that's not Islam. Islam. His, his Islam. So, but let me explain something. Islam. Let me tell you the reasoning behind co-wives. So this is where you come from, the maturity and the womanism and loving another person. Share. Please share this. this. Is where Please, it people, comes share. From. So we was talking share earlier. This. We was talking earlier about Rob, men me not being in their children's <laughs> lives, correct? We was right. talking about men not being in their children's lives. Right. So many single mothers out here, so many children without fathers. The reason behind a woman, I mean a man getting another woman is to stop that. Exactly. First of all, if they, if a, Ooh, if a wife questions. with children yeah. is, if their husband died, maybe say, or their, their, their man or their baby's father is in jail or something like that, he the would, he would right. come right. to me, hold on, he would come to me and say, hey, there's a sister over here, she got three kids, you understand what I'm saying? We're gonna help. We're gonna help her out. I'm going to so marry her. So there's a father in the household. Now, now let me explain something. He cannot just go marry a wife because he wants to. We all getting in the same house and we gonna have sex and we having three like menage a trois and shit. That's not how it works. He has his own house. If he buys her a house, he gotta buy me a house. If he buys her a car, he gotta buy me a car. If he has two wives, if he has two wives, he spends three days with her. Three days with me, and he's by himself for a day. Everything is equal. Everything so is now equal. the question in mind comes, in this day and age, how many men can do that? Now that's the question. How many men can do that? Hey, look, uh... Hold on, we just a call back. Damn, brother. Nah, you don't. I'm speaking because that's self control. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Call her back. It ain't even on the play because people take that serious. Call her. Y'all older males that. Hold on, let the caller. Let the caller. The music teach y'all. The music teach y'all. Oh, it got a lot to do with it. It ain't just a man, though. Who, who had a question? I missed that whole thing. I just missed that whole thing. I didn't say it was just the music. I said it got a lot to do with it. Wait, wait what was said though? Because I missed this whole yeah, action. Like, like what I just happened? Like, Corbin Mills abandoned the youth, so that's why they're having a problem. Wait, what really did he say? What did he say? And especially, it's working class men that happen to still try to want to do change certain things, but they can't because they don't have certain credibilities that the males in the streets do. And they want the people from the streets, and I'm somebody from the streets. And I said I left that. Midnight is that my lifestyle. movie too. I, I mean, once, that's my book. Check Tiffany. my name out here. I once lived I got a lifestyle all the that books. most people won't even step into. It's movie that's stuff that I haven't experienced. Now, I haven't. That's my daughter. I said I found strength enough to be able to transition because I always knew it was something better inside me. But my I had influences from older dudes, yeah, and that. older. That like I said showed me things that I thought that was family. everything. Mm -hmm. I have, I but see, like listen, I, under, I, I understand that I'm trying to read, I'm trying to listen to the comments. Now, I understand a lot of women are not for that. Yeah, there's a lot of women that's not, there's a lot of women that's not for polygamy. We're talking, we're talking, we're talking on top of each other, y'all. There's, there's a lot of women that's not for polygamy. That's cool. That's, there's no problem with that. That doesn't, not everybody is for polygamy. You can, not everybody wants to share their husband. That's some deep shit. And don't get me wrong, don't think that when it does happen that there's not jealousy okay, and anger and pettiness right, it's right. all there even yeah. the prophet Muhammad is like, well, his wives they had issues no, so it's there no but at the end of the day it comes back to the man like being the head of the family and taking control of the situation you have to, you have to allow the man to be a man nowadays we're not allowing the men to be men yes. we are taking care of them we should not be taking care of it's no true. grown men it's true let them be men if they can't one, provide one, for you kick them out Sister, let them let them I learn how to provide for you and because from the Chef. man's perspective, because mm -hmm. a lot of men are saying, I'm sorry to cut you off, sister, but a lot of men be like, oh, I want to get down because I can have this many wives and do whatever, whatever. It's not the case, man. The Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he came, he said, I didn't come to change your religion. I only came to better your character. And Angela, you have to remember that the reason we do this is to make sure there's fathers in the home for them fatherless children. And somebody you do just this said, to have no. stable and listen, Angela, 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 Angela no yeah, someone, someone just said it. If, if he has it. another wife and he ends up in jail, those children do not have a father. They have another just mother. because there's a second woman there, that's another mother. First of all, jail and Islam don't mix because if you on your what dean, you let me finish. 
Things I wasn't happen Muslim in life. when I went to jail. No, but what if I you was do menace. Go, what if you I do wasn't go back? Marcel. I was menace. What I'm saying is that don't mix. If you following your dean and you living right by Jesus God, point, uh, you're not going to put just, yourself in a situation you to be to taken away from your family in the first place. Yo, so you but it does say one, one, that's one, a weird, one, that's one like a weird for one question. Can I just say this? Because any man I following... I got to say this real quick, Marcel, because you know why, man? You know, everybody don't have a strong faith. You got some people that don't even believe in God. They're like, man, fuck God. Yo, God ain't never said nothing to me, man. Yeah, exactly. God ain't never talked to me, man. I talked to him many a nights. He ain't never spoke back. But it does, mm -hmm. but huh? That, so I don't want to. I don't want to hear that slave wife. mentality about God you talking about. And you got the people that feel that way. I'm speaking for many right now. Right. There's a lot of youth right now. Right. That's they. They don't want to hear that yo, shit yo. you talking right now. Right. Hold so on. so so my him. whole thing is. You got caller, bro. If we Hello? that hold if, on, caller. If we were taught the Allah, the Islam foundation in which we were born in, it's a lot of exactly. knowledge. We can go back and forth with this. A lot of people don't have that it's understanding. It's in the Bible. A lot of people don't have that knowledge. It's in the Bible. A lot of people don't want that understanding. And for the How people that don't, I want to be able to share for them because most people, we all can relate to this and I don't care if religion ain't got, like, we could take religion out of this. Everybody feels that post and this Universe that we all there's feel a, that we can't even understand. There's a higher right. power. It there's something. Feel right we got to answer feel bad. Just, all most, this shit. If you don't even if you don't going, understand, if you don't care to think about God, none of that stuff, you believe in that, that energy that you feel. Yeah. So in the midst of that, when you go wrong, when that's a, that that energy tell you to go right and you go left, that's I feel like that's our I mean, connection right there to the there creator. I don't understand yeah, yeah. it to the highest level, but I'm trying to understand. And the midst is more exactly. for me, outside up. of religion that people get caught up in. We get boxed mm -hmm. in by religion and stuff like that. Personally, right. in my opinion. And that's I know exactly. one of the things. Wait, wait, let's let's one call of the call things. Hold on. Take one of the call things call is that yeah, but we 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 last week the biggest complaint was nobody was listening to the comments. So it's supposed to be like I'm trying to um talk to the people that's right in the comments. There's also people waiting on the phone as well. So we're gonna get we gotta right. get, we gotta right. accommodate we're gonna, both. We're gonna kinda shut the phone down a little bit so we can we can we can vibe a little bit. Go ahead, caller. All right, I don't know if y'all can hear me now. Wow, alaikum. Just wow, alaikum. Salam. Salam. So what if you on your thing but your only way of supporting your family is to do haram? He said if you Muslim and you go to jail, then you're really not Muslim. I didn't say he wasn't Muslim, stuff, brother. I said, that don't mix. God, he wasn't Dean. Who he wants and who he leads astray, he will lead astray. What if my heart, if my intentions are in the right, in the right direction, but my only way of of surviving is doing haram, by selling drugs or doing something that I don't have to to provide for my family. Uh, Keith, let me um, I'm gonna tell you this real quick, and inshallah, maybe I I hope you find my husband and you inbox him because your mentality is where we want you to be. Okay, now I just want to let you know that as you know in Islam, Allah is the best of providers. He's the only provider. So as soon as you stop doing that haram stuff, Allah is going to provide for you. He's going to find a way. You're going to find something else to get you out of that situation. So I don't care what you do, no matter like if you selling drugs. Yo, I'm telling you for a while, I was selling pills and I thought I used to, to justify it by saying, okay, I need to provide for my family, but yet, so Allah's going to forgive me because I know this is legal, but at the end of the day, the Quran says the laws of the land we're supposed to follow so by the laws of the land you're not supposed to sell drugs so you're not supposed to be doing it Aki yeah, at the end of the I, day Aki you gotta put your faith and your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and 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 move forward and and on a Sarota Musakim in a righteous way. Selling drugs not the only way to do anything. You understand what I'm saying? There's so many people in this world that you could use, for example, Kufar and Muslim that you could use, for example, who's been in the same situations we've been in, and you could take that and use that as strength to uplift yourself, brother. You understand what I'm saying? No, you don't have to turn. You know how many times, man? I used to be. I'm I'm from the island, man. I used to be with Chucky Brewer. He's a he's a neighborhood he's a ghetto celebrity. I used to be part of that squad, and we used to get racks on racks on racks. You know how many times I want to turn back to that, but my faith tell me no because that's you can't. My uncle told me one time. He said, "Yo, you can't no, do good no. things with bad money, and you can't do bad things with good money. It don't work." You understand what I'm saying? So it, 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 it's just like somebody waking up one day going, "My kids are starving, so I'm gonna go rob the bank." That don't make no sense. You understand what I'm saying? And I had I was just talking to the young brother over here about how brothers at the match did telling course, me I, I can't mean, get I a mean, job. Hey, uh, uh, how did he let? My but my my what my my question was to you, brother uh -huh. and sister. What my question was: 
you said that if you go to jail, you not that you are not really Muslim. No, 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 no. no. What I said was the dean and going to jail that don't mix because if you're on your dean and you walk into Sirot the Mustaqim, then you're not gonna put yourself in a position to go to jail. That's what I said. That doesn't mean that he's he's not saying I, that you're always going to be Muslim. Everybody on this Muslim, planet no Muslim. How many Muslim. Sins you do. born Muslim. <laughs> no matter how many, how many sins you do, there's a, the, the, you're always going to be the Muslim. Worst, Muslim. The, the worst Muslim, Muslim is better than the, be, the best Kufar. You understand now, what I'm saying? So my question is, if you said that the Quran, thank said you for calling, caller. You fought, okay, you so follow, I mean, I'm just trying. I, the laws of the land, right? If you if, if you are to follow the laws about. of the land, right? Because it, it it instructs you to follow the laws of the land. How is polygamy um, the law of the land? The, because the, the law of the land says let me, one let me, man let me, for one okay. woman. Come on can now, I, talk your so, shit. So can I if, correct if, my? If it directs you to follow the laws of the land, Come on because now. that's what you stated. How it is sure polygamy? Is. Not, how is polygamy Bruh. following let, the let law me of the correct. land? If it let says me one man, because one my, husband, one wife. You want to let me talk? Oh, anybody else got any questions before I start? Um, my my wife used that in the wrong context. When it says laws of the land, it means the people who the we have Muslim scholars. When we need to be guided, we go to them. That's not what I meant. That's that's but what everybody's the not law Muslim. of uh, of us. You understand the what I'm saying? The laws of the land are the laws of the land, the laws of the United States. But they don't they don't um proceed what the Quran says. The Quran comes first. So it's a lot like of the laws Torah. comes first. And the Torah, Torah and that's Quran contradictory. Come on. That's and not contradictory. That is of, of the land. Right. And the it's Torah the states same. the same thing. Now you Listen, follow. Wait, I'm not getting into a debate with y'all about my religion. That's not the same. No, it's not religion. No, not at all. Listen, listen. That's what this going to turn into, you know. No, no, no. going to turn into you because y'all believe in Islam and I believe in y'all 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 no law of the land supersedes God's law. None. But the Torah does say one wife, one husband. No law of land supersedes God's law. So the law of the land is gay people can marry. So what's your what's your yeah. point on that? Right. So does that mean that what God said right. in the Bible, what well, God said in the Torah, never lay what with God a man. said in the in the Quran that it's all gone? It's all gone now because the United States said it's fucking legal now. That's right. Wait, I get what you're saying. Everybody. So, my thing is, so why <laughs> even why even put law of the land in? If that's right. the case, if God's if God if like if Yah Quran, oh, I'm sorry. If, I Meaning you don't go out, quick. rob, steal, kill. Mm-hmm. The, the law. You right. follow the law. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sleep with men. Women because with women. God took a whole country and slammed it into the ground to this day. Ever since that happened, nothing grows there. There's no life there. There's no nothing. But the law of the land is you could get, you could keep sticking dick in a nigga butt. You could marry. marry a dude. No man law supersedes God's law. Sure, so no. if man I said, yo, that. it's okay for men to marry men and that women marry women, right. but right. God has something that contradicts that, yes. the one you turn to Hello. is God's law, not okay. man's That's law. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, caller. Go ahead, caller. Okay. I'm this, sorry, I get a little excited. This shit getting juicy. What happened? I said it's Ashanti. What's up, y'all? Hey, Ashanti, how you doing? Shanti, how so listen, you? I just wanted to ask a question. So a few minutes ago, I think her name is Christina was explaining, and her husband actually was explaining that there are certain laws within the Quran or the Muslim um, religion. I don't want to say it the wrong way. Forgive me if I did. But um, you said that it's certain laws that's put in place for you to not stray away from your spouse. So for instance, like you said, if a man or a woman comes to your door and your spouse isn't there, then you wouldn't allow them to come in. Right. Or, um, you know, what your husband said. So I'm just trying to figure out, in that, how would, how, if that's the case and you have all these things in place to not allow that to happen, then how does, how is it also okay to then bring somebody else into your relationship? Like, Boom. I kind of feel like that's almost like a contradiction. Like, you speak so much about having that strong bond between the man and the wife, but yet you turn around in that same breath and say that it's okay for him to have another family. Like mm-hmm. that's 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 mind boggling. Okay, I'll, just explain uh, that for me? I'll answer it. I'll answer it. The 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 reason like I, I'm gonna reiterate the reason those are in place is to continue to have the family foundation. 
Now, if you just took Islam out the picture, right? And you took the black community. If every man who was able right now ran out and married every single mother, these kids wouldn't be without, they wouldn't be without fathers. They would have some structure in the home. They would to be taught how to be men. There would be less killings. There would be less mm -hmm. drug selling. Mm -hmm. And there would be more role models. Anybody just, this, think, this, anybody this, just thinking from the sleeping with her perspective. Yeah, exactly. Right. No, They're not looking at just a foundation. Yes, yes, they just is, looking at the sexual and, parts you're exactly. talking about. Exactly. And what I'm trying to say is, if you mm -hmm. look at it statistically, there is only 2% divorce race in, rate in Islam. With polygamy, the reason a man is allowed to have more than one wife, and some of the reasons are, say, if your wife can't have children and you want more children, we here to procreate because that's what we was put here for. Mm. God said, yo, be fruitful and multiply. Mm. You understand what I'm right. saying? <laughs> so you had, you had that there. <laughs> now, also, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that there is going to come a time where a man is going to be responsible for 50 women. Right now, there's so many, and I'm going to just talk about the black man. There's so many black men dying off. There is literally 28 women to every man on the planet. Who is going to take care of these kids, man? Who is going to take care of these women? Because a lot of men forget that your title is protector, provider, yes. and sustainer yes. of the woman. You understand okay, what I'm saying? Can I say something? And of your fellow. Can I huh? say something? Can I interject? Can yeah, I interject? Yeah, it's hard to hear sometimes. Can I interject, please? Yes, go ahead. Right. So then here's where my next... <laughs> hold on a second. So then here's where my next question comes in. Because even when... I understand all of that is to have a family, to have the man in the home, the structure, the guy that's actively raising his kids and things of that nature, I get it. But then that goes back to this, though. How much you're still a part-time parent? Because like you said, you're spending three days here three days here and a day alone. So if you think about it, you're providing the same thing that a father would provide if he was outside of the home. So again, I don't feel, and this is just my opinion, right, right. I, I feel like that's a contradiction because if you're there she in the home, no like you yeah, said, Queen, she got to go. She got to so go. Yeah, yeah, hey, man, you know, you know what's funny? Let her finish. Let her finish. Let her finish. Let her finish. So is a, truck, is a truck driver a right, part-time parent? Let her finish. It's still being a part-time parent because you're split between two households. So a parent that's living outside of the household is basically doing the same thing that you're doing because you're only in the household half of the time. Okay, I sister, can I ask you a question, that, sister? The active father. Can she hear me? Can I ask you a question? If your husband is in the military and he leaves for six months out the year to go on tour, is he a part-time husband? If he leaves to go on tour, if he leaves to go on tour, is he a part-time husband? And yeah. you only got yeah. he only yes, got he one is. wife. Yes, he is. Protector, Wait, provider. He's a part -time. He, said, he said your husband's in the military and he and leaves for six months out of the year. Is he a part-time husband? Yes, he is. If he leaves half-time out the year, yeah, he's a part-time You husband. got women so who are allowing men to I mean, come in their home husband. as yes. examples so he's for their children. they there only part of the hurt. time. Because so they want some yes, to come in because your husband is away to come in and now provide for you and your family because he's away like that that that's crazy to me but if your man is providing for you and he's protecting you but and sustaining your you household her in the family two, if he's part time. Out here anyways there's no protection but what i'm saying is, is you got time. first of all like i don't i mean i i really think it's really weird and funny how a woman not you sister because i respect what you're saying and i respect everyone's opinion but you got women out here doing it like you said last week for jordan's for a bag of smoke, for a night out into the hotel. You got women doing it for less. So if a man is willing to come to you and you got kids by another man who want nothing to do with you or them children and say, hey, listen, I am willing to come, pay all your bills, take care of you, raise these kids, you're going to turn that down. But the dude, with the, the bins, the dude with the bins come through once in a while to smash and give, and give you a little couple hundred bucks and don't say shit to your kids though. and don't do nothing with them. You okay with that, <laughs> though? Okay. Okay. That's just okay. really okay. weird. No, I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm not I don't saying. Know. I'm saying. What, I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. If you have a parent that's outside of the home, that's an active parent, right? 
that, that that's not living in the home with the child, but they're an active parent. What makes like the situation different is what I'm saying. Okay, I'm, I just want to give you an example, right? So you have because seven days out the week, the right? Of time the and you work fifteen. I I own a business, right, sister? And I was gone sixteen hours out of the day. So you multiply that times seven. What'd that get you? Probably four days out of the week I'm gone. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Does that make me a part time father? Part time. Not if you're a provider. Exactly my point. The man position. Providing? The so man's you position. Providing. You just you just answered. You just yeah. Protector, provider, Hurry sustainer. You know, but you but how can you be I'm a saying? protector and a provider and a sustainer if you're going four days out of the home? You're going to work. Exactly. <laughs> Men do it every day. They go to that's work the, every right, day to take care of a house. You go one to work and you're away from that. Exactly. But my thing is, you you go to work. You're away from that one household. But now you got to split. Because you said four, you're going four days out the week. It's seven days in a week. That leave you with what? Four or five? Four it's days. because it's four about days. the now equality. Listen, listen. It's about the equality. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all just watch your hands. Listen, y'all just watch your hands. 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 Y'all just the question yeah but you just agreed no with me. i said if you're providing then no you're not a part-time father however if you're providing four days out out of a seven day week and then you have three feet you have three wives now you got a day to each family you know what i'm trying to say uh -huh. and at the end of the day that's not better in nobody's kid it's for the woman first of all the mm -hmm. days are equally split between the women. Right, it so doesn't mean my doesn't kids mean from this one, and I don't see my kids. Mm -hmm. It's split between the women because you have to deal with the women equally. Right. So you can't sit there and say, aha, I got five days out the week and you only got two because it causes enmity and jealousy. So are and you all these are not kids in one household? Hurt your wife. Are huh? all these kids in one household? No, we, they're not we, in one we, household. We would, no, we're not, we don't have a polygamy. You don't, no, we don't in, have well, polygamy. In, the, in the normal polygamy marriage. Our I, kids, have, I have a few friends that are in polygamy and yes, the husband takes, takes their child where they go. Okay. Yeah, they the take husband their are always with their kids. The no, kid, the, I, I there's women. That. Always, that, I did hear that I'll all of them live in the same house. Get along too. because they don't all get along. They don't all get along. There's women that come into the marriage and they be like, "Oh, I don't want to meet you." I'm taking, I'll take her fucking man. That's how they yeah. act. Right. So Ooh, it's it, it's that's real. Life, period. So that's yeah. life. It's, but you also listen, have life don't like, change don't in Islam. We not perfect. Muslims ain't perfect. We all do the same things. Everybody else perfect though. Because no, I see a lot of the comments. I see a lot of what the comments are saying, and they feel like. Oh well, they just don't sin or they don't do that. Nah, hell no, we sin. Everybody sins. We have fun. Like Islam is not Islam is not perfect. We just it doesn't make you perfect. Religion. That's Polygamy it. been around since the Torah. But if you read the Bible, it's 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 they had 15, 20 wives. I mean, it's there. It's been there. Because at the end of the day, to go back to marriage perspective, I, I don't want to really talk too much about Islam because yeah. if you're a different religion, you really don't understand. Right. So to go back to marriage, the, at the end of the day, we, we have to make, we have to be submissive. And here goes this word again, ladies, that y'all love, submissive to the men. Now, to bring that word submissive back, you can't be submissive to a man that's not leading. If he's not leading, how can you be submissive to him? Because he's going to lead you astray. Right. So at the end of the day, the only way we're going to get better as people is for the men to step up. Y'all is man. You need to step up. The only way that this world is going to get better is if the man steps up. You know, I'll be seeing these fight videos. The majority of people that I see in the fight videos are the fucking men recording them. Especially when the That's queens, true. the beautiful women, are fighting against each other. What's wrong with y'all? Stop right. your woman from fighting. Right. Yo, stop your woman from fighting. At the end of the day, no, I will never understand. I can never even imagine what a black person goes through. But I can't tell you from the outside looking in, you guys hate each other more than anything else. You guys like hate that. each other more than anything else, Especially and it shouldn't be mother. like that. I'm gonna stop you. It should not be right. like that. He got a question. My hand was raised. Okay. okay. So, my with the children, let's go back to the kids. I mean, let, let's do that. Let me go into the children dynamics, okay? Mm. So, with a polygamous relationship. We're not talking about that no more. No, oh. but I am talking about that. No, I'm this saying. Is, okay, well, no, I'm, no, I'm not going to answer because it's going to the left. You know people mm. that have 
polygamous relationships. Ooh. I'm asking about the kids. <laughs> How are the kids relating to it? Because they, they go out into society and they be around other mm. children. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. they, their parents don't share the same type of lifestyle. And then they come back home and then they may be in a polygamous lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And it's like, so how are so how are the kids adjusting? How, the how, kids are, if how you, do they if, adjust if to you, it? If, what I want to say is this. Kids are always fine with it. Kids are going to go by what their parents teach them. You could teach a kid that the, the rug on the ground is God Almighty. If that's what you teach them, that's what they're going to go with. My kids have no problem with it. My kids love Islam. They understand it. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't for everybody. It ain't meant for you. It ain't meant for everybody to understand. You understand what I'm saying? But with mm. kids, you down. know you have, you you know that's daddy's other wife. They understand that. What, you going to hide it from them? Yo, this is daddy's other wife. This is what we're taught to believe. This is how we, we, we um, this is how we practice our religion. This is what God told us is permissible. Now, the, you got to remember, God is the final say-so. It don't go no further than that. You can't hit me with, but of. when God said, I can have one, two, three, four wives, as, if it's, as long as it's permissible, there's conditions. As long as I under, can't stand them conditions, if I choose to take four wives, that's what I'm going to do. If not, it's not for everybody. Do I want a second wife? Fuck no. I can't deal with the one I got. You understand what I'm saying? Why I want to add to it? Right. Hold on, let me I, I'm I'm okay with my <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> but why why I want to add with it? It's not for everybody. I got brothers who got four wives. I got a brother, and you know what he does? What he goes to work. Mm. He comes home when he gets his paycheck. Guess where it goes? To his wives, because the man money is to take care of the family and the household, and the woman's money is to do whatever she wants. But with what it. if you if you understand you, what I'm saying? So you have to look at it. It's it's like this. I'm gonna get to you, man. Just slow down. But uh -huh. what, what I'm saying is this, you, you, it's a foundation, it's built, you're getting more out of a, a Islamic marriage, more respect, more, uh, what about you're, you're more loved, you're more, you're, huh? What about diseases? What diseases? What about diseases? Like if you meet another wife. And they do all. Oh, I'm you didn't oh, take her to but the doctor, you, nah, you like do that, all like of that. That, that. It's a contract. Oh, okay. You're entered into a contract. Oh, okay. Before you get married, oh. there's there's STD tests. There's all of that, and it's a based so off a contract. The okay. contract goes like this: There's a man standing behind her, which is called the Wally. There's a man standing behind me. This man knows the conditions of why I want to get married. He knows her conditions. They have a conversation. They say, are you willing to accept the fact that she wants you to give her $1,000 a week for the next six years? And she wants you to buy her a house at the end of the six years and a car. And she wants you to have two jobs. Are you okay with that? Yeah. You understand That's what I'm saying? It. Like, it's a contract. And he has to, and, and then the man will turn around and say, <laughs> well, he wants you to make sure you take care of his household. He wants 12 <laughs> kids. He wants you to make sure you cook every night and yada, yada, yada. Whatever your conditions are. Do you accept? This is an acceptance of a commitment before God and two people. You need witnesses. That's what make you marry. You understand what I'm saying? Well, if you're willing and accepting the conditions and also, ladies, I would like to let you know that a Muslima can say one of my conditions is that you not marry more than me. If the man is willing to accept that, he can accept that. It's not forced upon our so women. It's not, it's, you understand what I'm saying? No, it's, no, it doesn't have to happen. See, Rob, see, I don't want to I don't see. I don't want our viewers and everybody to I don't want them to think that, you know, we turning this into a religious conversation. Definitely not. Right. Rather than because it's, it's not everybody is going to view right. their marriage is not the same as everybody who went to the justice of the peace or everybody <laughs> who went and got married through Christianity or everybody who got wedding rings tattooed on their damn fingers or everybody who has their own thoughts and what marriage should be. I don't care what religion what language you use marriage is a union between man and woman and in god's eyes right, right? Yeah. so i'm gonna say this not all marriages are perfect yeah we fuck up yeah but who is that for you to judge and say what's gonna happen to me right who right. is that for you to judge and say because this is my religion this is what's gonna happen to me who are you to tell me what i'm doing wrong in my marriage because what you did in yours let me tell you something. The best thing that the young man over there in the corner said, what's your name again? Anthony, Brother Bankers. Brother Bankers. What Brother Bankers said in the corner was, 
Yo, we all know that there is an energy mm -hmm. and a higher power somewhere that we got to answer to, brother. Uh -huh. Ain't it crazy how you feel when you do something good for somebody, man? You didn't expect nothing in return. You did something good and you was a blessing for somebody else. That's just so overwhelming. It almost brings tears to your eyes. Uh -huh. Knowing that you helped somebody else out of a situation or, or a deal, you ain't expect nothing in return. Mm -hmm. Rather than you did something bad, how you feel if you just know you did something bad because that conscious in you was like, <laughs> Cause, and, and, and when I'm speaking about something bad We all did bad things I don't yeah. know to what level But that that's something that's in you brother That we all felt man, woman That shit got to rise up And answer to somebody That's called a soul that we all got All this shit, this flesh this These fancy clothes The shit we driving Everybody, your wife next to you she not answering when it's time for that soul to get answered. That's right. Go that. Talk about she it. She not next to you when it's time. Talk we about all it. We about our motherfucking self, man. So with that being said, I want to go here, man. Being I'm a married man, too, and this is talking about marriage. I ain't the perfect man. Nobody's perfect. Right? No, nobody. No, I, I ain't the perfect man. I'm working every day. My wife, cool. Yo, the more I come on this show and the more I hear other people calling in and seeing other people's situations, the more it made me appreciate my own wife more for putting up with my black ass. Uh -huh. <laughs> she could have left my black ass a long time ago. Right. So, and I'm not even trying to get no praises and kudos and all that. Because right. when I hear other women telling me, you know, what they got to deal with, they like, yo, praises due to your wife. No, what they got to, I know with just meeting you in 10 minutes, I know the presence that you have. Mm. I know your will. You see what I'm saying? Right. So for her to deal with me for 13 years, you know, that that's a blessing. That's a so, blessing. Like, yeah. so this is what I want anybody to understand, man. I'm going to say this before the show ends. I got to drop these jewels before it go, and I'll forget. Yo, we all come into this world needing some help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. We all going to lead this motherfucker needing some help. Most yep, definitely. Absolutely. None of us can do it by our fucking self, man. Most right. definitely. None of us, man. Right. Once a man or once a woman and twice a child. Twice right. A child. That means you came in a child mm -hmm. fragile, you needed somebody, somebody to nurture you, and you're going to leave out needing somebody to nurture you and help That's you. Right. Uh -huh. We all need help. So, with that being said, having children are a blessing. Most man. definitely. Two people getting together, recreating with sperm and eggs, giving what God created is a blessing. People are. Having artificial insemination, stealing babies, paying for babies illegally, foster care, taking people babies just to have that blessing that everybody can't get. Right. So some people don't deserve this blessing. So to have it, brother, the best thing we can do is to nurture our children, show them how to be men and women in our walk of life. Because the best thing you can give your children is tools that they're going to need when we leave this motherfucker. Right. right. And if you got children that don't even be around to call you and see if you need a sandwich when you turn 60, 65 years old, <laughs> you didn't do your job That's as a parent. Right, exactly. When you got a son or daughter, they don't even come around and see if you need to get took into the grocery store. Dad, you need some more. Or just looking out for you. That means you didn't do your job as a parent, man. Right. So with that being said, I don't care who you are, young, old, middle class, there is a void in us, man, that we know and wish that we would have done the right thing at a time in our life sooner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means you know what bad was. Right. It comes a time where you click in your head like, yo, what was I thinking? What, mm -hmm. what was I? We all know what love is and we all know what pain is. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, if you got kids and you knew what pain was and you let your kids go to that, that pain. pain. That's your problem. May a millstone mm. be tied around your neck and For you real. be cast oh, to the depths of the sea though. to perish. Because it's the community problem. Can I, can I say something real quick, brother? Um, hey, Rob, I would like to come back up here because of the simple fact that I think Islam like went to the left. And my intentions on coming here was to help people understand how me and her been together for 13 years. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Islam. It was never about Islam. It just you, so happened it that it was, it was our faith was brought up. That, but yeah. guess what? Our faith is the main reason we still together to this Bottom day. Line. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all believe in a higher power. Exactly. Y'all got God. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all got so, God. Exactly. Right. 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 Right.
exactly. Way. What I want to say, it didn't start that way. That's the goal. And if you plan on getting married, it take work, man. It's a commitment. It's something that you're willing to do just like when you decide to have a baby. It's a lifetime commitment. Yes, it's not something that you take as a joke. For 18 you, years yeah, and you exactly. think you're done. Just like with your marriage, you don't take it as a joke. And it's the that, person that... that communication is one of the keys. Exactly. Well, communication is the key, man. Yeah. Trust, yeah. trust on the thing. foundation mm -hmm. and communication is the key, man. Stop you have to work up. it every day yeah. a marriage is not a pretty thing me no. and my wife be at each other's throats every ride. matter of fact she we was arguing before we got here you understand <laughs> what i'm saying <laughs> so it it's is real. what it is but Chill. it's hard work man yo i it's suggest this everybody that don't have god in their life or islam you better or, get it this is what you should do i didn't do it but this is what you should do Everybody before they get married, I think they should go see a marriage counselor right. before you get married. Exactly. Well, you know what? Bottom line: <laughs> if you don't have religion or a higher power in your marriage or in your union, go see a counselor, somebody who can give you some <laughs> advice before you get married. Exactly. That's what I want. I, 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 I right. want to say to Sherry, said, "You're gonna get married." Everyone, what? Sure, you Napkin, yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have told me. He should have wiped his mouth so he could continue. Don't be talking. Yeah, don't be talking. Hey, she wanted to say something wrong. I don't know if she did it. It's right. You should have told me. Oh, we had a chair. We had to build up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was bubbly. He was bubbly. Hey, she got I know we went to like mad different like all no, it, types it, it, of topics and stuff. Did, but sure but I did wanna I just this. did I did wanna say, um, either if you're married or if you're not married, going back towards the kids, guys, stop letting the kids use you guys. Come like, on now. When you when the father when when a child goes up to the mother and asks for something and she says no and the kid goes up to the father, and then the father says, yeah, don't why, let why them you divide you guys. Why, why right. you yeah, don't, exactly. don't allow them to it divide has to be you a united because, front. yo, these little demons are like... Y'all back one tonight at the door. Yeah, these, these little <laughs> devils, <laughs> they're, like born they're like born manipulative. Yo, like, hold and hold they hold use hold us just, against can I just each interject? other. Can I just so if a, but listen, if a, if a child sees the parents on a united front... Right. Yes. It's going to end better, and right. that and that goes for the people that's two together and the people that's not together. Y'all got to get on a united front. Exactly. Can I say this while it's fresh on my mind? And I'm gonna say this. This is very important too. Before we before we get out of here, uh, what you what you speak to your children and put in them will will come out of them. Right. So yeah. to me, yo, I uh, I never ever call kids little demons, little devils. Right. Shit like that. <laughs> I speak greatness into my children. Right. right. Never. I never say bad anything. I don't even, we don't even say the lie in my house. Yo, you told a lie? No. It's a fit. You told a story? You told, mm -hmm. you know, my kids would be like, Dad, you told a story, Dad? Like, if, if what you breathe in your kids, you will get out of them. If you call them demons, they're going to be demons. If you say you're a little badass, he going to sit around and go, watch mommy. He think, she think I was bad last night. Watch this. <laughs> right. If you call them great, they're going to be great. Well, this is an adult <laughs> topic, so happens. I definitely don't talk to it's my you. kids like that. I'm just an adult topic and the kids ain't here. For, you, for, the, for the people that see, that yeah. I see outside Oh, they do the be street, saying that. They be going their kids. They call their kids everything but great. I Yo, in Florida. And, I, and let me tell you something. In Florida, they call their kids bitches. They be like, come Little bitch. Yo, you know what you said oh, earlier? God, and no. I'm done. I'm going to say this and I'm done. I'm going to let everybody else done because I'm about to slide out of here. Yo, you know what you said earlier? You said, you know, what What do you do when you see people, you know, doing wrong? You do it. And you know what? I have a serious problem. I think that's might be my way God going to take me out of here one day, the day I go. I think it's going to be done doing the right thing because my wife get mad at me. I'm one of those guys. I just can't see injustice go down in front of me. Right, okay. right. A kid being being treated unjustly and unfairly in front of me, and I don't interject. I have a problem with with, with you know something going down in front of me and not saying nothing. I, I'll be in my bed at night I'm saying, "Yo, I knew I wasn't wrong for saying what I said." My wife have a problem with that because she feel like I shouldn't be the one to always have to be the one to say something. But I'd be like, "Yo, you know what? Governor. God gave me that voice sometimes. He That's gave me that chunk. I ain't scared." I'm, whatever's gonna come with that, gonna come with that. I'm willing. To, I'm willing that I know when I open up my mouth, I'm gonna be able to take whatever comes with that. The, re the repercussions and the, whether he won't want to punch me in the face because I punch back. Whether he won't want to bite, I bite back. So have but you I'm ever willing to deal with that of, for the truth. 
Have you ever thought of um, speaking to young men about this? Yo, I, I do it every day in my body. No, I'm shop. saying, I'm saying, time, I'm saying outside. I'm saying like a whole. I'm saying like a whole. That's what you know, they gotta right, do. Right, exactly. Like a whole thing. To the, let me tell you something. I don't know. You know, like my man said, you can look me up. My credentials, my name ring bells in these streets, mm -hmm. and I ain't even from New Haven. And my because yes, right. I do so much <laughs> for New Haven and West Haven. I'm not even from here. My boys tell me, yo, my nigga, yo. You're not even from here, my nigga. You do more than I know niggas who rooted and planted yeah. here. Because it's not about, I'm not, not trying to, I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing how I was taught, how God taught me. If I see this room for correction, I'm going to correct. Whether it's my child, your child. When, and then, I, you know the part you know that I like? Else taught out here? I'm the parent that like that shit. I like when I correct your child and he go tell you, now you want to come see me. Mm -hmm. I love it. Come see me. Because you know why? When I finish correcting you, you're going to look at me and go, yo, yo, my man, absolutely, yo, he dead right. Mm-hmm. Because I, I know what I stand on. And what I stand on is a solid foundation and a solid ground. If I stood on quicksand, nigga, sinking sand, I'm out of there. I don't, it's not, I, I ain't even opening my mouth. But I open up my mouth because I, I, I know what I'm bringing to the table. And I know what I got to do as far as these kids is concerned. As far as young adults like yourself is concerned. That, that, that's, that's yearning and asking for guidance. That, that want that love. It, you see what I'm saying? I was a guidance to a lot of people in the streets from me. Like I said, it happened to not be able to have certain things. Me and my brother, rest in peace his soul, everybody can look him up. His name's Scooby Maurice Earls. Uh, we once started a brother movement based off of a lot of older dudes kind of manipulating us through the streets and trying to have us live certain lifestyles. In the midst of that, we, like I said, we lacked fathers in the house and stuff like that, and we were the backbones. And in the midst of that, but that's we what came together. That's what it's about, that's man. That's what it's about. But in the midst of us coming together like that, we started a brother movement and said, we going to, everybody around this town, and like I said, people understand, that's why my name Brother Bank is, because me becoming a brother of people that that's not even of my bloodline. And right. it came about because, like I said, we seen a lot of young males, I said, fathers in jail, and we know the routes that we was taking, they was doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of, because Absolutely. we didn't have no guidance. That's in the midst of that, we started the brother movement to where, like I said, we was building up resources in the midst of we was running the streets but we was taking that money to build up resources so we could so we don't have to live those lifestyles and figure out what everybody wants to do with themselves so. in the midst of that like I said my brother lost his life and we in the midst of that like I said I left I went to jail came home and I wasn't gonna live I wasn't gonna step up to be this elder and this leader in position I'm supposed to be and I've been fighting the walk in this position based because of me scared of the power that it comes with right, a lot exactly. of people. A lot of people. Like I said it's, a, it's it's some type of aura over me that I had since I was a kid that everybody paid attention to, and I never wanted that light to shine on me because I felt like it took attention from people that was next to me. Mm -hmm. And in the midst right. of me understanding as I got older, that's my purpose. That light, I have to let that light shine so people can see Walking that there's different. right, exactly. Walking yeah, I respect different. you for that, yeah. brother. And yeah. I just want yeah. can I say something real quick because I really want to be petty real quick for all you ladies up there talking about Smith. That's why you single. I'm all the ass to help you over here. The reason why a lot of these women are single, because a lot of these males out here, I'm gonna say for your generation and as well as yours, they have they teach us males when we come to the streets. Yeah, look at y'all women as trophies. Knock as many as y'all knock as many females down as y'all can. Yeah. We're taught this. Right. Yeah. It's embedded inside of us Identify to believe that to where we don't have value y'all. Yes. Hey, yo, Pace, man, That's don't make me come to your stuff. house, Pace, man. I know where you live at, you know, B. It's a whole bunch of people. <laughs> I said, I don't got enough time to really speak like that. And I said, God, God bless I'll be able to continue this and come to another interview so we can even speak more than it. Cause I said, yeah, we should, man. What you're doing how do you? I'm only 28 years old. That's what's saying, man. I was like, Brother Bankers, y'all. That's Brother Bankers, y'all. Recognize, man. You know what? A lot of things 28 years old. We, cause the growing up from, I want to share something with y'all also too. And, the 90s, and it's gonna shake the whole when room. When the the drugs came in and it became like you know that that was the problem. There was a disconnection that happened there. You know, you had a lot of the fathers. That it ain't the blame jail. on the system, but it was a system set in place for system, us to right. detach from mentally, physically, the system, the system, the system, the system, the system, the system is built for for people to fail. We just a whole form of what we going through, and I said because certain people didn't step up from certain positions. We're still <laughs> going through the problems of it. Y'all gonna build it? I was gonna build it. Y'all gonna build it? I would say from a person that I'm on my way when I leave, me, Pace. I do believe that our generation, my generation, I think... And how old are you kicking? I'm 45 years okay. old. Y'all were trying to talk so about a I'm lot of things. I'm going to say that we may have failed mm -hmm. the scary, upcoming man. generation mm -hmm. because during that time is when the drug epidemic swept. Abuse on women, and, and, and males. It, it either swept us up with 
either selling it, going to jail behind it, or being a, a being a users of it. Of it. Mm -hmm. So there was like a huge disconnect. But it's changing now. now I told y'all, I'm seeing it in now. the barbershop. Brothers now. his age, 27, yes, yes. 28, they yes. bringing, they, they with their kids. Yeah, so they starting yeah. to change. You know, not too many of them, though, and, and that's the thing, because don't they don't wanna, know how to go about it, and they still hurt from things you know, that but, they didn't have. But you know what, though, I'm going to tell you this. Most males, I said, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to show you You know what I'm doing personally, like you said? Y'all lead by example on my Instagram, brother, mm -hmm. on my page. Definitely. If you go on Majesty's 203 page, you will see nothing but uplifting what is it? videos. What is it? Majesty? Majesty 203. Shameless. I anybody can follow me. I don't hide nothing. Yo, oh, sure. my page, people tell me. Said, I love it when I'm in the storm somewhere. People be like, Yo, man, I ain't seen no video with you and your kids in like two days, my nigga. Yeah, I, always see I it. need that. <laughs> like, baby, you always, always say it. Because like, every morning, because most males don't do it. Every morning, right. I look for them I inspiring videos with you and your kids going to school in the Definitely. morning. Me and my son, like, she said, I got secret with me. We got little secret handshakes we do. I give them greatness every morning. People be looking at me. They be like, yo, son, yo, I wish my baby mother would let me get that. Or I wish I was in a position where I could be with my kids like how you be with your kids. See, everybody's position ain't the same. Yeah. Right. So all I'm saying is, like, you know, like we said, we got to do better. We can sit here and point fingers all day. Man, but stop I try being to scared. It. I go live to my court. life. Like that. You, go go to to court. you don't see me in Miami turning up with my boys, popping bottles. Right. None of that shit on my page. All my page is is me being a dad. Cause it ain't to about that. And people portray right. it. I don't even have a lot of my wife up there. People be like, yo, why you ain't got I said, nigga, I'm on she on there, but it's just not a lot of her. That's my page. <laughs> right. Exactly. Her, like, I don't put her on there for women to I judge see her, her every day. Exactly. Zoom in on her, be judging her right. all the goddamn yeah, yeah, yeah. time. They know I got her. They know she right. right. You keep right. wondering what the fuck is going right. on. Right. You know what right. But my whole thing is I use my page to lead by example. So much negative on there, I'd be like, yo. I'm going to use my page. Man. I could probably touch a brother. There you inspire go. Inspire somebody to be like, That's yo, despite right. what they went through, the kids are innocent children. Right. They didn't ask to be here. They got here in the midst of us doing whatever we did. Right. But me, unlike anybody else, I can't speak for nobody else, man. I planned my children. I wanted those. I was like, yo, I'll be late. Let's get it. I know it's that's time. right. <laughs> I know my, my daughters. I know. I, plan, I knew when they was coming. So I love my kids. And everybody don't feel the same way about their kids. I told right, you. Right. But they are a blessing. When people understand how much of a blessing they are, they'll do right by their children and understand if that. If they knew better, they would You want your better. children to be 10, exactly. 20 times better than you. I don't care how much pain you felt, how much love. You want your kids to feel and get everything you never had and better than what you had. Exactly. Yes. But everything comes... With a price, everything comes with. I give my kids everything with an explanation, with a with a, a with a story behind it. Let right. them know, like, yo, ho, ho, yo, you you know how blessed you are to be getting this. Because my kids know, they know about a higher power. They know about seeing the less fortunate. They see when I bring a a bag of clothes to the shelter or some sneakers over there right, to the right. halfway house for brothers who ain't got no. They'd be like, Dad, you giving away all that stuff? Yeah, right. Yeah, build them up. Yeah, we giving that build away. them up in a way that she go so when they, they get older, they never stuff. depart from no, it. Hey, man, exactly. man, you Train know, you right? Can ask, you can ask Ping, man. Ping, Ping, no, man. Wife and the kids out there handing out gloves when when yes. um Darky B and M was giving away the turkey, well, man. Nothing. My kids oh, ask, man, can they go? Yo, on Valentine's Day, we want to go buy a bunch of cards and give them to the homeless people. They love doing stuff like that, man. Kids, if, when you like, got your kids with you, man, like he said, not everybody got the opportunity, but just like my wife just posted up there, yo, go to court, man. Get your kids. Get with your kids, man. Right. It's the best feeling in the world when I see my children, man. I don't definitely. care what's going on. Definitely. When I see them and they be like, Daddy, it calms my soul. You right. understand what I'm saying? I don't care what's going on, man. Or, and I, I didn't have that chance chance with my first three children because I was locked away. You understand what I'm saying? But now that I got the chance, I ain't going nowhere. You understand what I'm right. saying? Rob, I For think um, you got Mark Harvin up here talking about that he wants to come on your show. You should add Dark Mark to your list. Right. You talking about he got a lot to talk about he, since he, he got so he much He been going say. in the whole right. night. Right, so right. Since, since I know I've seen him. Your black <laughs> ass got so much to say. Bring, say. bring it on. Bring your black <laughs> ass on the show. Oh, okay? you know him? Yes, I know Mark. So since you got so much to run your mouth about, come on the show and talk about marriage. You talking about he put food on. He said I put food on my page. Who want to buy a plate? Page, you want to play? Yeah, he been going sick the whole night. Yes, he's been talking shit the whole night. He been night. talking shit to you, Kiki? Yes, he told you me You got some baked macaroni and hey, cheese, can I give, Hey, can I give out a few tips, man, to the hubbies, man? Uh, just some of the stuff, man, I would like to share and what I wanted to share about marriage, right? Just a few things, if y'all don't mind. It doesn't man, have anything to do with it, Islam. Yeah, it don't have anything to do with Islam. Just marriage. Men, if you walking down the street, right, and your wife say, wow, he got a nice haircut, bae. You would look really good with that haircut. 
Guess what you might want to go and do? Get that haircut. Go get that haircut. Right. If your wife tell you, yo, I like when you had a six pack, guess what your ass need to go do? Go get that six pack. Go get that six out. pack. What it does. Hold up, hold up, hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Me being the only fat man in the room. Me being the only fat man in the room. Let me hit these fucking buttons like crazy. <laughs> let me hit these buttons, goddamn. Don't let him. Yo, don't let him pull you because he ain't in the gym yet. He yo, ain't got no what, 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 what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this, man. What I'm saying is this. Keep your keep keep your wife happy, man. And I'm just talking to the men. It's about when you get married. It's about your wife. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just like when you have kids, it's about them kids. It's it ain't about, about you no more, man. Right. It ain't like about you no more because if you lead by example and, and you and our women reflect all. us, you, you understand what I'm person. saying? Our women reflect us, bro. If you treating your woman like crap, guess what she gonna treat you like? If you treating your woman like a queen, she gonna so treat she you like, like a king. king. And that go for the women. If you want it's a king, carry yourself like, like a queen. queen. Come on now. Have more respect for yourself. Yeah. Don't be out here selling yourself but a lot because of women, they that don't like thing that, that God gave you they in like between peasant. them legs, they that, like ain't, to be peasant. that ain't for everybody. Brother, that ain't for everybody. So Let a man special. earn it, man. Let Hold a man on. earn it. Let me say something. Let me tell you something. A lot of women, I call every woman queen. Let's get on that. A lot of women don't like to be called queen, so you know what I'm going to call them? It's either your name or peasant. You don't want to be a queen? You don't recognize that you're a queen? You're a peasant. Why? Because they feel like you're just playing around in the midst of... No, that'd be so dead serious. No, you're a queen. Me, nah, you may be telling... To she's trying to give everybody a positive thing. Yeah, yeah, she's doing a, a positive thing. Mel's you, I said, sis. Mel's around women and told you, them, yo, you're a queen, and then go, feel me, do some type but of... But you know what? At the end of the day... I understand that. No, King, I get you, but I understand I understand where you're coming from, too. Let me answer him. No, you're right, because a lot of people get offended. Right. I call them sis. You call them queen, I call them sis. Because I feel like But you shouldn't get offended if I'm calling you queen. If you comfortable that with your queen, they don't value themselves that much to even acknowledge that word that's powerful. Well, us as sisters and queens, self-worth. we need to help them. A lot of males we need and to help them really have help themselves. How about that? Well, do you a lot know, of us need I mean, like, development. The, 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 the un- the, us Wait. not accepting the queen thing, that goes way back. I mean, this is a whole other yeah. show when you want to talk about it's that. Yeah, that's like, a It's not extra. It's a different show. It's not extra. I know what I'm saying is that it's about the. I think you're going by the comments that was in the last episode. No, for I always, when I came in here, I was calling people queens. That's what I do. I'm not, I don't call not females. I'm not saying that. What oh I'm God. saying is, I feel like you're saying that females aren't accepting you calling them queen based on the comments that happened last week. No, this is before the, the comments, case. baby. This oh, okay, because you didn't is, have this energy no, 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 last no, no, week. Hold so that's on. All oh, my saying. energy going to always remain the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, always yeah. remain the same. Trust that. But what I'm saying is, way before I even came on the Royal Report, I've been calling females queens. A lot of females do take that offensively. Right. And mm-hmm. I don't understand why do they take that offensively. I'm is there an insecurity well, with that, them? Well, that's why what I mean about it being a total different type of sh- like a different type of show because the, for the women that won't accept it because I don't know why we wouldn't want to be queen right. Yeah. right but for the women that don't accept it that that is some psychological training that they received from right. way back in the right. past so I, that would be I, a different I, I, I honestly altogether. think women are just so petty and we can't stand to hear goodness from another right. woman right. I think that's the reason they don't like it because at the end of the day we, we ain't shit women ain't shit we don't. We treat each other like shit. You understand what I'm saying? And while we the buzzer, the, you can't even be a good friend. <laughs> you can't even be. You know, women really. At the end of the day, and I realized my mom told me this when I was younger. If you die with one good friend, you're blessed. And I didn't realize that till I got older. And every year that I grow up, I lose another one, another one, and another one because I realized they're not really my friends. And at the end of the day, I do come to realize that you know what. At the end of the day, my husband's actually really my only friend. You right. understand? He's the only one that really has my best interest in mind because, you know, Mary, Jane, and Mo, they, they just want me to leave my husband so they can see what's really good with him. You Ooh, know? Right. So, at, because trust me, when me and my husband separated before, his inbox was crazy. <laughs> Carl Rader. When I say crazy. Carl Rader, you an asshole. Yo, when I say it was crazy. <laughs> he, said, he said that before. You straight asshole. So, 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 
seriously, at the end of the day, we have to learn to uplift our women more. Most like, definitely. We are, you know, when they say happy life, happy wife, yeah, that's that's correct. But still, the women are the ones that raise these men. Right. The women are the ones that are really... And why we can't we, uplift one another? We, we should I, be uplifting each other. We are constantly in competition with each other. Yeah, right. for what? Like we shouldn't be. And I think it comes from the fact that there is a lack of guys out of right. here. So it's like whenever a female... That's why you need polygamy. Yo, I said that Shut the other day. Up. So whenever a female... <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. The answer to that question is polygamy. Hit, hit the Mike bomb. Trump. Hit the bomb. The answer to all that is polygamy. Yo, I don't need another. Oh, Four no, y'all had no, to no, say no, that. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yo, what was you saying? So, <laughs> this is why, like, I feel like that's the reason why women are in competition with each other. And that's why, why when they see... I've been talking to a lot of females throughout the years. Let her talk. Hold on. I want to share that. Let her talk. Can she get something out? Go ahead. So when you see a, a lot of times some females, not all, but some females, when they see another guy taking care of another woman, they like, okay, well, he's doing that for her. He'll probably do it for me, too. Right. Let me try and slide in and try right. to steal him. And yeah, it shouldn't, it shouldn't like be, that, like be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens, what happens in the dark always comes to light. And my thing is this. Just because they look good. That on the mean outside don't good. mean it's really yeah, good, good. Right. you know what I'm saying right. but that is something that us as females we do have to better on then on top of that at the same time y'all guys have a token in it too cause y'all good at playing females against females mm -hmm. so it, it goes it goes hand in hand it goes both ways to me alright y'all I, 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 I gotta go on a trip in a little while I gotta be somewhere hey Marcel 75 <laughs> on this, Twitter this and YouTube I know we went now, over thank you. Now, we, we, had had a, we started like a 45 we started minutes an hour late, late. Yeah, because I would have issues, but everybody... BEM thank taxes, you. Christina Elliott, hit me up. You need your tax done. Hey, Marcel75. <laughs> I do gaming a uh, gaming show for kids on YouTube. Yo. Hey, Marcel, the number 75. I just, thank you, I do Rob. installments and wiring. Oh, no problem. I just want to Thank you, Rob. We really appreciate it, man. Yeah, you got to bring us back, man. We got to figure, figure something out. We ain't talking about Yo, Islam when we coming back. A, yeah, we still got to talk to... I want to share power well, movement, uh, uh, Transformers Barbershop. We linked up with Blaze Barbershop, and we got barbers... Nine the Lord. barbers in here, all those Japanese barbers in Connecticut. Let's go, man. Let's go to Transformers, fourteen forty Willie Avenue. We on the other end of Willie Avenue, man. Queen, Queen, don't see. Yes, yes queen, what you gonna say to a Queen? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yesterday and she did a really good job so support okay. black oh, businesses oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, Alicia, you yeah. yeah support black businesses oh you know what you know what, good. You know what Rob yeah, can I just say you. this real thank quick you. for every for everybody out there, please go look up Jesse J. Hop. He does a oh, lot of work you. for our community, for the homeless, and he's actually accepting donations oh, well, I, I, for I, I, April 21st I, I, to give out to the homeless. If you have food, if you have clothes, if, if, they you have, eat, if we eat, they eat. If you have anything to yes. give to the homeless, yes. please look out for Jesse J. Hop so you can I'm hit him up or you can even inbox me and I will get it to him to help the homeless. Thank you. And Don't I'm forget. So Oh God, I'm sorry. Don't forget the comedy show this uh, March yeah. 31st. What's, what's that? What's that date up there? Yeah. The Wild and Out Comedy Show uh, in Bridgeport. Doors open at 7:30. Doors open at 7:30 at the Creative Venue in Bridgeport. Wild and Out cast will be there. It's gonna be crazy. Check out my man Jermaine Felton. He's in. The, he's in the comments right now. If you want tickets or whatever, he always throws some good joints. So support him and. Check them out, y'all. Hey, I just want to let everybody know in the comments, I'm petty enough to come find you. Oh, we got, let, 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 me, let me hit the young blood. The young blood got... What, what oh, yeah, we're having a brother banger. Brother Bangers, take us out. Well, I just want to let y'all know, man. If y'all right. into trying to really develop the community and reorganize it, structure, oh. hit me up. I'm doing my part as an elder in the community. I can't do it by myself, and I definitely know a lot what it takes. So if you want to reach me, hit me up. Brother Bankus on Instagram and Facebook as well. There I do, you go, Brother go Bankus. Um, I do a food Smell drop. It. I do a food drop. I do a clothes drop. I do a shoe drop. Um, I am very much so involved with the community. I do breakfast. I do breakfast on Saturday, so if you want to come through, it's in the hill on Congress Avenue. It's chicken and waffles, eggs, sausages. Uh, if you want to come through, you most pork? definitely come through. What's the address? No pork, right? No pork. We don't do no pork. We don't eat no pork at all. I'm dealing. Bringing the What's muscle. the address? <laughs> um, 275 Congress.
Nice. 275 Congress, come get your free breakfast on. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Yeah, it's everything, happened. everything that I do for my community is free. So come get your Thank free Thank you, everybody, for listening and watching and what tuning happened? in. Thank you, everybody, for checking us. Let's get it. We'll see you. We out. Thank you for everybody. Good yeah. night. Yeah. Right. Good Peace night. out. Peace <laughs> out. We out here. Yeah. 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 Freaky, freaky, freaky flow.